Good morning. Or should I say, hello, sports fans. That's right. Today is a great day for sport. It's a hot one. We're seeing temperatures climb to over 25 degrees. But it's about to get even hotter, friends, because football's coming to town. Attention listeners, crank that volume knob all the way up. Only a few hours remain until we kick off this summer's biggest sports event. It's time to put yourself on full alert. The famous red bus has just passed the light tractor avenue and is cruising towards the central sporting arena. And this sports fan can only mean one thing. Our long-awaited guest has finally arrived. Come on, guys. Stuff of legend. He stood toe to toe against the best players, teams, and even entire cities. But today, he may have met his match. Superhero. You can hear the tribunes yell in all the languages of the world. Everything is set for the opening match, and it's man against tank. Corsa, Corsa, Corsa. Captain. 
Let's roll. Roll up. Epic battles are starting on football pitches very soon. But we won't let the professional footballers have all the fun. Football is coming to World of Tanks too. The matches are three versus three. Each match lasts seven minutes or until three goals are scored. If the normal time ends in a draw, then extra time is added. That's when the golden goal rule comes into effect. The first team to score a goal wins. If none of the teams score a goal within four extra minutes, the team that kept the ball on the enemy side for longer wins. You can start a match on special vehicles only. All players will receive these vehicles and they'll be different from their random battle analogs. The AMX 13105 is a striker, which scores goals. It has a drum. Therefore, it has a faster rate of fire and more chances to score. Its unique ability is second chance. What would you do if your drum was empty and you badly needed to fire a shell? Click on the button, receive two extra shells, and score a goal. The E100 is a reliable defender. Its dimensions and weight allow it to block incoming hits and enemy players. Super powerful HE shells clear the ball with their explosive wave, even without a direct hit. It's a pleasant bonus for defenders. The T62A is an agile midfielder. Its skills are useful for both offense and defense. Its unique ability is Nitro. It gets you into position quickly. The rules suggest that each team must have players of different roles. If it's impossible to assemble multi-role squads, the matchmaker will allow only two same vehicles per team, but no more. The matches aren't just pure fun. Complete combat missions, collect football cards, and take part in tournaments. Your reward will be unique vehicle style sets, medals, gold, and much more. Win over and over again and a true legend will join your crew. Play football in World of Tanks with Gianluigi Buffon and win a Buffon t-shirt or a football with his autograph. Good luck on the pitch. Gentlemen, and welcome to the Tank Football Tournament. My name is Joy Versmesa and I'm joined here today by Mihailo Jugovic and we're going to be bringing you all the action. You excited, Mojo? Yeah, man. We are teaming up again for another fantastic event. Yeah, if I had known that you would have been here, I don't know if I would have shown up, but we're together anyways. Thanks and Football Mojo, a great combination. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, four teams that will compete here and uh, best two from the CS region, best two from European region and we will see a total of three matches, two semifinals and a final one, and they will, there can be only one at the end. There can only be one at the end, yet. Yeah, it's to keep in mind that these teams, we have a respective champion from the CIS region and a runners-up, we have a respective champion from the European region and a runners-up, and they're going to be playing, Mojo, as you said, three matches in total, two semifinals and a finals. Uh, like you said, there can only be one champion. Obviously, we might be a little bit biased towards uh, the European teams are self mojo, but they have to get through that bracket to get there. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard, of course, because all of these guys passed uh, way, way, way a lot of matches to get here. As you can see, first we will have uh, Team Bisons, uh, number one from CIS against Papa is not online from EU, and the second one, where is my coffee? That's a uh, number two CIS against Drilla Support, uh, actually the reigning champion from 2016. Um, yeah, mojo, like. The semi-finals, they look very nice. Obviously, we hope Papa is going to be online for today. And I hope uh, Where's My Coffee has found the coffee in, in the end. Well, 
I don't know will, will they find that, but uh, we have uh, best of five in this football match. That means the team has to win three rounds, seven minutes per round, or until you reach three goals. Yeah, Mojo, and the teams are not just playing for fun. They also can get an amazing T-shirt signed by Gigi Buffon himself. Yeah, that's a major prize. This goalkeeper is a legend himself, so you can get a T-shirt signed by him and a ball, man. Like, that's a treat for any football fan here. I mean, if you're into football, Gigi Buffon himself is a legend. Uh, he, he, he really is a legend. Um, Mojo, it's not just the teams here that can win something. Also, the people at home, you can participate in the giveaways. Do keep in mind, the giveaways are only on the Twitch channel slash World of Tanks. You can get five t rates Tanks and 10 times premium days as well. So that is uh, just not, it's, it's nice that not just the teams can win something, isn't it, Mojo? Yeah, this is something you can get as a participator, but also, like, let's not forget, even these players are getting way more than this. They're getting some in-game gold, uh, days of the premium, also tier 8 tanks, so they have a lot to play for. But Mojo, first up, it is going to be Team Bisons taking on Team Papa is not online. The number one from the CIS region versus the number two from the European region. Now let's take a look at these lineups, the players they have brought to this tournament. Mojo, you going to want to go over Team Bisons to begin with? Yeah, Team Bisons, number one in CS region, three players there, Del, Andret and Necro. They actually met peculiarly because they didn't play as a team before together. They met each other just watching the Steel Cup leaderboard and that's how Del and Andret met and then they Necro contacted them over the forum. They had a really rough period to get where they are. They lost to a team called Crew, which they managed to beat later. And they also managed to lose to a team that was a final, uh, CIS finalist last time called Quark. But they came through, through all of that. They learned a lot. They play super aggressive. They believe in practice. They practice a lot. So they actually came through and they were the number one. Yeah, on the other hand, the other team, Team Papa, is not online. Alio, Papa Pavian. Kacha, those are uh, players in the European scene that might be uh, well known already because uh, well, they come from the clan fame, obviously. But Mojo, let's get into it and let's see what these teams have brought for tanks. Get us through it. It's going to be uh, double T60 to A and an AMX on both teams. Yeah, we noticed that. Uh in normal mode, you can pick uh, uh, to play this uh, tournament 1-1-1, one, 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 that means one of each tank, or you can p pick 2 plus 1. So we have two 62s plus an AMX in both teams. This is something like a more balanced version and more aggressive version, because when you have that E100, it's kind of slow and chunky with a big reload, so yeah. it's quite a risk to take it, actually. Mm -hmm. Big reload doesn't move very quickly, and you have the issue that sometimes, you know, even if you're in front of the ball, the ball can go over it. So the T62A is the more mobile, the more ball control setup as well, trying to dominate the game from the beginning. Uh, ball control is obviously super important in this mode. You know, the team that has the ball and the other team score usually can get a goal out of that, to be honest. Yes, I think both of these teams will try to play aggressive in a start. Control will be usually done by 62. 62s also have that uh, special skill called Nitro, but it cannot be activated immediately. And uh, important for the control of the field, because then they can even drive backwards and forwards and okay. see. Here we go, it's Team Papa is not online on the blue side versus Team Bison's on the red side. And already ball control here for Team Papa is not online. You can see Papa Pavin in that AMX already pushing the ball into the corner. That might even go towards the center, but luckily enough, there's a clear there from Unred and Necro. They're ready with those T62As. That was a super close actually because one missed shell there would actually end up in a goal and we'll have a leader in the first minute, but they managed to kick it off on enemy side there, keeping the formation together, trying to control that ball and Papa is used to, forced to use his clip to actually traverse the ball all the way. See, Papa is now on reload while Necro still has four of his shots available. Again, this ball coming towards the center, but a nice clear yet again coming out from Team Bison's. Necro keeps the ball in the corner again. Team Papa is not online. They're trying to approach it from the back side. They're trying to get that center mojo, but so far, Team Bison's very, very good at keeping the ball away from the center of the goal. Still, I must give it to Papa's online team. Like, they're really keeping their aggression on. Papa is keeping his shells, and this is an important moment. Maybe now can something happen? No, they managed to keep it off. Andret is a good goalkeeper and he keeps his shells for these moments. Yeah, that was a nice clear there. A combination of Unred and Necro still had some shots available in that AMX and they managed to clear it from the center. It's really dangerous because if Team Papa is not online, if both those T62As are reloaded, that's almost definitely a goal. Team Bison's had a feat that they uh, said that they will try to adapt to their enemy always whenever they play a match. So we will see how that goes for them here. 
Delay and uh, Necro are trying to get the cl uh, ball closer to the goal. That's a standard tactic by everyone. And then you can kind of clip it out in the air and maybe bypass the goalkeeper. Kacha is a de designated goalkeeper here or a backliner in these kind of games. So they now need to kick out the ball. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was close. That was indeed close, Mojo. Kacha almost had to pull out a save there better than Nor did in this World Cup. Not that he got to do it a lot, at least. Uh, anyways, Team Papa is not online, trying to clear the ball again. So far, it's now Team Bison's wrestling control over this match, wrestling control over the ball. They've been able to keep it in the corner, but Papa coming off of clip in the AMX, you can see he's trying to pressure the ball forward. But Necro as well in his AMX had shots available and pushes it back in towards the corner of Team Papa is not online. That's a nice block there from Alio at least on that corner and they need to make sure that ball does not get centered but it's going very high. Yeah, Alio even used his Nitro in one moment for that. Papa is trying to kick it off. They really need to get this ball rolling on the other side like this is what we would like to see from you. And they managed to bypass Del here but Andret is always safe behind and always, always hitting that ball. And so far, just better reload management from Team Bison. Woo! That's a dangerous center, but just about cleared from Team Papa is not online. Mojo, you can see that their better reload management really made that a nice goal attempt. Luckily yeah, enough, somebody in position to clear. That was by far the closest chance anyone had in this match so far. Sturdy defense on the Bison side at the moment. Like, you can see that they practice way more than Papa is online. But the aggression that Papa is online is doing may pay off. Yeah, but... This again from Team Bison, it seems like a random clear, but it's pushed very nicely in towards the corner. So Team Papa is not online, has to scramble back towards it, trying to defend it. Alio Kacha are on the goal, trying to keep it away. Papa unloading in his AMX, Necro and him both have two shots available. So it's about the same in reload management now. Papa misses that shot though. Not the greatest there, but again, you can see there, the lineup from Team Bison, they're all on the side there, Mojo, trying to hit the ball all together. This is a really good, good ball control because this way, Papa is online team has to rely on Papa Pavia. Right? He has a clip, oh, <laughs> he can actually kick it out above them. Yeah, but they're really controlling it hard. Oh, that's dangerous there as well. A nice block again from Alio, preventing it from going towards the center of the goal. But you can see that that uh, setup there on the side of the pitch from Team Bison is really working out in their favor to keep that control over the ball. So far, it's been in that position for at least 30 seconds, if not more. Team Bison's putting the pressure now on Team Papa is not online. Say Team Papa is not online had the pressure in the beginning, but now it's all Team Bison's. It's a definitely a problem for them because the ball is constantly on the side of the blue side. Papa is online and whoa, we already have a goal. There was a miscommunication between Katja and Alio, and they received one. Yeah, that was a brilliant setup though from Team Bison, that continued pressure really paying off. You know, it took them a while, but in the end, they managed to score that goal, and now Team Papa is on the line, has 2 minutes and 40 seconds to equalize, at the very least. So let's, let's remember, that doesn't mean that the match will be over, that just means that the first round will be over, because someone has to score 3 games to actually win the match. So, at the moment, the big lead for Team Bison's 1-0, because it was a struggle. And uh, the ball is at the moment on Bison's side, but, but... Yeah, but the issue right now is though that Team Papa is not online, has to go more aggressive. They only have two minutes, they have to take some risk here, risks here to get the ball back in towards Team Bison's court. And so far it's back again on their side of the half. They haven't been able to get under the pressure, even after Team Bison scored that goal. Finally, it seems like the ball is kind of going back towards the other side, but... Ooh, this can go good. Finally, back on towards the side of Team Bison. Now they need to get that ball centered, Mojo. Now, Team Bison are very careful. As soon as they see the ball going for the center, one of the guys is always diverting it left or right. And they're dueling this goal really well. You can see the separate reloads here because I noticed Papa, uh, like uh, Kacha and Alio sometimes having the same reload, which they, they should really avoid. Necro is saving his, his clip and he's going to try to bypass now the 62s. Yeah, look at that beautiful from Necro. He kept his clip the whole time waiting for the ball to go past and that's a dangerous oh. center and that is a second goal for Team Bison with 1 minute and 25 seconds on the clock. That was actually a beautiful setup, Mojo. He, Necro was waiting for his C62As to clear the ball from the from the goal and they did. He went past him and then he just clipped out, pushed the ball forward and there was nothing that Team Papa's on the line couldn't do because Papa Pavin was not reloaded. There was a good, good ball control here by Bison's. Definitely good communication you can see by them, and uh, cooperation between AMX and 62. That is crucial. Now we need to see what will Papa is online come forward with now because Papa is one of the best light players we know. We played him, in a, we saw him in a gold league, but this is a different kind of game, this different is, kind of mode. You could say this is a different kind of ball game, Mojo. It's a tank football. That uh, could be a witty way. Yeah, and that's that's true. Now Papa really has to do. 
everything he can to equalize this. He's 2-0 down, you know, Mojo. He's going to have to pull a Belgium on them. Oh, wow. You think that can happen in the next 45 seconds, Ducky? <laughs> if you believe anything is possible, but not like this. As the ball goes past, Kacha looks towards oh. the goal and his necro from the back lines, making it 3-0. And that is Team Bison, really. Putting on the pain in that first round, you know, you, they, they're showing that they're the champions of the CIS and uh, Team Papa's not a line that's uh, back to the drawing board. This was a big statement here coming in the first round with 3-0, to zero, like Papa is, on, is not online. We have to focus now and maybe show us what they have, man. I mean, yeah, let's just say it like this, Mojo, it can't go worse than the last round for them. This is definitely the maximum score you can get, so they cannot get worse, <laughs> but uh, will they be clanless or not? That remains to be seen. <laughs> Mate, it depends. Like, if they go down 3-0 three, three times, then uh, I think Omni is the place to be. You're going to disown them? Yeah, probably. I'm not even going to be associated with them anymore after this. Oh, delete from Instagram, Facebook, everything. everywhere. Everywhere, honestly. But honestly, what it came down to, in my opinion, was uh, ball control from Team Bison was just superior. The reload management of the MX of Necro was also superior especially on that crucial moment when they got the ball past uh, Papa Pavian, past the T62A of Alio, I think it was, and Necro was able to just clip out and push it forward. And this is the replays mode. This was the first goal. That's just a beautiful touch, really. Uh, the second goal, again, oh, this was the third goal, actually. It was also a beautiful touch. It got towards the center, and they were just quicker to hit the ball, really. And they're controlling the ball from uh, really, really far away, as you can see. Like, they were controlling it from pretty much another half. And uh, their cooperation on reloads between 62s and Amix is superb. Also, like, uh, 62s between themselves are really calling the shots nice. And uh, angles, you hit the ball. Because this is like a round ball, but you, depending how you hit it, it will answer. Like um, Mojo, back in towards setups. Team Papa is not online. Is that a triple T62A? Yeah, it, it is. is indeed. Three single shooters, like that will definitely impede them like when they're attacking, but maybe give them the better board control. Let me let, let us see, but I'm really surprised by this build. How much are they do not have the clip potential of the AMX. They do not have those six shots and plus two if he activates his ability. Uh, but they do have the single shooter advantage, so if they can capital Oof, ooh, Kacha <laughs> he was is up. bullied, they're out of the way. But if they can capitalize on the reload of the AMX, maybe, but that is a dangerous ball. This can actually end up easily in the goal if they hit this one. Whoa, what a save by Alio! Ninja! The ninja skills coming out well there. Reminds me of the Russian goalkeeper Mojo Akinev, I think. I might have butchered that pronunciation. He saved the ball with his leg. Alio trying to take some uh, pages out of that book. That was brilliant to watch, man. Like that, that jump and the save, like determination if he had that only in the clan world. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Now that hasn't called call for. Again, Team Bison's very, very good at keeping the ball in the score. And you can see uh, Popeye's not aligned. It's really, really struggling to get that ball moving anywhere. They have a decent setup. Again, Papa's blocking up the first post. Alio Kacha kind of defending the goal to get it. But that's dangerous. That could Again. go high. That could go in even. And it is in. Oh, it is in indeed. It is a goal for Team Bison's, Mojo. And that's a goal after only 90 seconds of the second game of the match. And the pressure was constantly on their side. Let's see the kickoff here. This will be an important moment. They're managing to get the side on the pap on the Papa is not on the Bison side. Mojo, Team Papa is not aligned. Said before this tournament that they didn't really pay attention to tactics, but that's a, ooh, that was a dangerous, but a good, that was a dangerous attempt, but a good clear from Team Bison's. Maybe they should have focused more on their tactics. That was pretty much the single best chance they had in this uh, match so far. Necro is in reload, maybe they can use it now because they are faced only with 262s, 100 and Dell, but so far these two guys are really great in cooperation and there is no problem between them. And Necro is off of reload now in the AMX as well, he's going to try and push the ball, uh, the ball forward. Uh, Mojo, again, I don't know about this triple T62A, honestly, so far it's not really working as uh, Necro again pushes the ball towards the court of Team Papa as non-aligned once those T62As are not reloaded, he just dominates the field. Kacha and Alio are trying to block it off, but this is really dangerous now. They're kind of away from the goal. If the ball hops over them, it's going to easily end up inside, and no ninja move will help them. You can also see how Necro is, was keeping two shots for a very, very long time, making sure he gets full use of that to keep the ball control going in their favor. So far, like we said, reload management by 
far in favor of Team Bison. And Papa Pavian shooting Kacha in the back of the turret might not be the best thing either with that T6 2A. Yes, and let's not forget the special ability of AMX 13105 is to get two extra shells when needed. So when he presses that in some moment like this, he might actually use it. And what's gonna happen? Really close, but no cigar. I think that was the post saving them this time around. So Papa's on online still in this game should uh, really thank the woodwork for working in their favor there. Um, again, it's really difficult for them that not having an AMX is just not working for them, honestly. There is no uh, possible aggression. They're just completely defensive all the time and they're trying, hoping for their best. They're going to use the reload of AMX to do something. But as I said, that duo tandem between Dell and Unret is just not allowing them that. Yeah, I mean, they're just being wrestled into that little corner there. And again, you see that setup from Team Bison. They're all sitting on the sidelines over there, making sure they get good angles on the ball, get a good uh, attempt at goal as well if they can hit it in the right spot. And you can see just reload management better. And this might be dangerous once again. There was actually a check shot on Papa Pai, and that is something uh, you will rarely see because people usually do not want to waste shells on something like that. But delay, necro. Will there be a kickoff? Necro again keeps those two shots for a very long time when he uses them at the right moment and that is another goal for Team Bisons. Oh my god. Europe Europe is being a dominated Mojo, yeah, the replay there, that was just a really high ball, there's nothing you can do about it to stop that. Now, when you allow yourself to get in that situation, you're already outplayed and the ball is already on the Papa, is not on line side. And we, we see the pressure immediately coming in. They're not even sending AMX. AMX is actually used in the midline by uh, Team Bisons. So far, this triple T6 way mojo, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by it. I'm not really impressed by it. Well, this is not a good uh, moment for Papa is not online team. I mean, they're losing already 1-0 in the total of match. And they're losing 2-0 in the current game. And the time is ticking away second by second, man. Two minutes and 13 seconds for them to pull that Belgium you were talking about. I mean, Mojo, you know, Kacha can only use his fake account, Papa Pavin. Oh, 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 this is gonna... gonna be another one. Gonna be another one, maybe? No, off the post, and he goes in, anyways. That is 3 0 for Team Bison's. <laughs> Two rounds in a row. You can see it there. It got stopped by the post, but. The, re uh, the reload management for Team Bison's was just better and they got it in before they were able to clear. And that is 2-0 in favor of Team Bison's Mojo. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> it's not looking good for Europe, is it? This is already 2-0. Uh, I mean, Team Bison's are lacking only one game to finish the match, but this is a clear stomp 3-0, 3-0. It looks like Papa is not online, man. I, the, it looks like their brains are not online for, for all I Something is going on there, but uh, what can you do? Like, they're giving their best and their best is at the moment not enough. But, as you were talking about, if they want to pull a Belgium, now is the time. Now is the time. They need to win three they're, games. Yeah, they're 2-0 down, obviously, in the best of five. The, the team Bison's only needs to take one more. Um, those high balls really an issue for Popeyes on the line. They always seem to be able to manage to clear that first defender, get the ball high, and uh, manage to score as well. Um, there we can see Mojo. Papa actually scoring an own goal. That's, uh, that's, that's playing for the opponent. That's... It's just not cool, is it? In this mode, it's kind of peculiar because uh, if you're trying to save a goal and you get hit by a ball and ball jumps over you, it's like an auto goal, so you can't do anything about it. You must put that effort and then whatever happens, happens. Amoj, I would like to see uh, Team Papa is not online ditch that double, uh, triple T6 way attempt and go back towards the, you know, the, the double T6 way and the AMX. What do you think? Well, I'm hoping that definitely we will see at least one AMX there, but... Uh, at the moment, we will see what will the teams choose. They really have to pull out the miracle now, man. Uh, yeah, we better start praying. I better see some candles because it's not looking good. Team Bison's currently up 2-0. Necro is not moving. Ooh, Necro is not moving? We have only Dell and Andret playing and Necro is actually not moving. I don't know what is the cause of that, but we'll see. This is a chance for Papa is not online and uh, they didn't manage to take it over. They, they, Papa, they, Papa still has a clip. They better take this chance, Mojo. If they can't win a 2v3, then, you know, uh, it's not going to be pretty. Now you can see, like, ball control definitely in favor of Team Papa is not online. Maybe Necro lost connection, we'll see. So far, I mean, uh, it's uh, we're rooting for Europe, Mojo, so I don't really mind. Well, it's not a win that I would like to see, but... Uh, Mojo, a win is a win. Nobody remembers how you won, <laughs> okay? Yeah, history, unfortunately.
favors only the victors. Exactly, Mojo. Then now I like to hear you talking. Obviously, ball control in favor of Team Papa is not online, but uh, you know Team Bison is doing their very best to hold off. Uh, probably waiting for Necro to come back. And I think Necro is back in because I saw his clip shown on in a match. And ah, yes, Andret and Dell managed to survive for a minute or more. Yeah, but this yeah, is the yeah, no. This is last second move. And there we go, the first goal for Papa is not online in this Woo, match. First their first goal, goal in the whole match feels good, man. Bring on a hype, man. Yeah, dude, it's 1-0 and it's... Uh, it's the moment where they come back. It's a storm from this point now. Let's see the Necro now back in the game. The ball goes on towards the pitch of Team Bison's, though. This could be a goal attempt. Oh, my... Just off the side, though. That could have been super dangerous. Probably some miscommunication there. That was one of the rare moments where you can actually allow and see in this mode that you can score a goal in those first 20, 30 seconds, but that you see that almost no, never. You see the big difference though in setups between Team Papa is not online and Team Bison's is when Team Papa is not online has the ball on the side of Team Bison's. Team Bison sits everybody on the side of the field, but Team Papa is online, Papa always goes for the ball and it seems to and not really work for them. Well, you managed to divert this ball from the goal, it was going straight for it, so good save there again. I wish we had statistics for that also. Oh, Dell better. is pushing over in the first line and I think like uh, Necro will be in the middle as usual. There you go, the ball is bypassing. If they actually diverse, this is a perfect chance. Oh, nice clear though, nice clear. Hits it when it's still above the goal, so there's no attempt from Team Papa, is not online, and nice clear from Team Bison. And Mojo, yeah, Alio is definitely doing better than the Slovenian team at the World Cup because they weren't even there. Oh, ho, ho. Like, this was a really great save because the only chance you have when the ball goes in such high altitudes is to hit it actually while it's still up because if he starts going in the goal angle, it, someone will hit it and it will enter. We need to be careful here. Alio Kacha both on reload. Alio just about comes off reload, is able to divert the ball. Kacha misses. However, it's really crucial to hit every single shot in this match. Kacha mode. was on fire. He turned his Nitro on to manage to go back on a goal on time. They do know this is all or nothing kind of game at the moment and they are in a lead. Mm. They need to win this. They need to keep this lead so they can play a next game and then one more. Well, that's a nice center ball and that's going to be the second goal for Team Papa is not online. It seems like they finally woke up into this one and now you could see that was a nice center there and a nice finish as well that's the second goal here for team papa's online we don't talk about the first one but this one was definitely this nice. was pure and cl clear this was just a team play and a go clear goal oh that's again team papa's online gets the ball on the court of team bison's they want to finish this you know it's good like if they could finish this 3-0 take a round back you know relieve some of that early game pressure maybe they managed to finally find a beat of uh, team bison's and they will be able to crack it down we will see. They definitely said they had like less practice, but it doesn't mean they cannot field the game properly and just come back to it. Well, this is again Team Bison's getting the ball on towards the side of Team Papa's on online. Nice diversions there from both teams. Team Papa's not online diverting it away from the goal. Team Bison's doing the same back towards the goal, and Team Papa's on online diverting it from the goal once again. Some nice dynamic in between these two. And again, now ball is in the corner. You can see that setup there from Team Bison's module. Do you see this? This is the difference between Team Papa's on online and Team Bison's. Team Bison's will sit there with all three. Well, Team Papa's on the line will send Papa Pavin for the ball every time. This is a moment when something can happen because Necro was saving his shells and he still has Delen, of course, and uh, Andres who can use their 62s while Papa is in on the reload, but now he finally got the shell so they can block off the, this attack. Well, they need to get the ball away from that side. Necro still has his two shots available. Papa has one more. The ball goes over him back in towards the corner. Necro still with those two shots. He's keeping them for the perfect moment. Might this be it? He goes off, fires one. Again, ball control in the favor of Team Papa's on online, but Papa Pavin about to come off reload in that AMX. They should be able to clear the ball now at least. By far, we can see more technical play on Team Bison's side, but it didn't help them much in this game. Like, uh, so far the pressure is on Papa's online side, but they're losing 2-0 in this one. Um, they are losing 2-0 in this one. It's a scare. This is dangerous, but with the setup from Team Bison's, nobody in center field, there was nobody really to direct it in towards the goal. Good connections here all over the field. So Team Bisons are still keeping the ball on Papa's online side, but two minutes remaining, it's going to be super hard for them to score two times. Yeah, two minutes remaining, but still, if Team Papa is not online, wants to, you know, get uh, relieve that pressure, they want to make that third goal. This is a dangerous ball towards center field, and that's going to be a goal for Team Bisons. Beautiful setup. They seem to be very good at redirecting that ball towards the center. They really, really don't need much to score one. Like, they just need one diversion and they usually hit a goal. That was a really nicely played one. 
Uh, what is important for us? There is a kickoff here, guys. Ball is coming straight for the goal here. Will there be a connection? No, they managed to divert it. They managed to divert it at the very last second. Papa Pai now off reload. So is Necro. Both EMX is exchanging and the exchange going in favor of Team Bison's yet again. And that is, again, a dangerous attempt. It's Unbelievable. centered and that might be all, but it just goes past. And Mojo, what did you say about not being able to score two goals in two minutes? Man, it's almost two goals it in 20 like seconds. that, they might score two more. Mm. I mean, Papa's online really need to be careful about this. You can see that again. The setup from Team Bison's, everybody centered around that center field. Necro in between the double T60 to be, and they're just pressuring that ball constantly, trying to get it back. And Team Papa's on online needs to hold on one minute. Is everything they need to win at least one round. They must win this. Uh, in order to stay in a match. Of course, uh, if there is a draw, if like uh, Team Bison's managed to score a goal and it's 2-2, we will go in overtime, which will last... Oh! Oh! Very cool. 47 <laughs> seconds! 47 seconds more! I think the ball got stuck between Kacha and the post there, so this is a very tense moment for Team Papa's not online. 36 more seconds separate them from their first round win here and they need to do everything they can to hold on and you can see necro still has all his shots available in the mx they might be waiting for papa to be off of reload to then try the final attempt here 22 seconds Mojo. let's see this will be i think pretty much the last attempt now everyone is coming off the reload the ball is coming above papa pavian 14 seconds he will have a clip if papa gets a clip it's gonna be super hard for them to score almost impossible they should be clearing the ball now they have six seconds remaining for team papa is not online to win their first round here two seconds one second i think they're just about to do it no team bison does not get another goal attempt and it will be team papa is not online to pick up their first round making the score now 2-1, still in favor of Team Bison, but we have a match. That was a major turtle in the last five minutes of the game here, but it worked out. 2-2-1 two, two, in the match for Team Bison. They still need only one game so they can actually win it. But hopeful thing for us from Europe is that actually our guys are still in and they're fighting. They are still fighting, but that was close, Mojo. And uh, there in the end, it looked uh, a little bit uh, shabby. This was the... First goal here, just when Necro came back and the, uh, this was, I mean, it's a solid, it's solid. They get the ball center, they get it in, there's a great goal. And here the second one, it goes past both the six ways from Team Bison's actually. Yeah, and I think Necro was late like five seconds. But what can you do? Kacha, a midfielder here, said that he used his fake account to cheer for Belgium, Mojo. Why, he was not, uh, didn't want to get caught to cheer for Belgium with the normal one? I mean, his normal account would cheer for Belgium, uh, for Germany, but they went out rather quickly. So Katja got uh, one goal, 57 total shots on the ball in a game, which is quite a lot. But it's 62. It's but it's 62 with that slow, with that low reload, and the match went all the way as well. You do expect a high number of shots. Yeah, those single shooters must do that. But we are, we are coming back in. Uh, Next game, we can see the setup. It is 262s and AMX, and again, 262s and AMX from the both sides. So they chose to play balanced because that experiment with 362s didn't really pay off. No, that experiment definitely didn't pay off. But again, ball control for Team Papa is not online. It is not a great center, though, so I don't think a goal attempt will come from it. Nope, Team Bison's managed to get it in the corner. And now let's see who goes past Necro. Actually, Necro now getting behind the ball again. Goes past him. If they can center it here, there could be an opportunity, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, this was actually a miscommunication between Andretz and Delay, which is something you really rarely see. These guys didn't manage to uh, keep the reloads properly, but they shot in the same time. So there was an opening here for a moment for Papa is online, but they didn't use it because of positioning. Just for one moment, though, again, the ball goes past Necro, and now Papa has reload advantage in his AMX at least because Necro was holding on onto those uh, one shot and then obviously uses his ability to get two more. Team Bison's now clearing the ball, and Team Papa is not online. He doesn't have the reloads available to actually prevent this from happening. Uh, Papa is not online. He is definitely faster going in defense now than before. But there is a big difference if you can see. Oh, this is a nice chance. This is a nice chance. There is a goal. There is a goal. That the is, pure one, the really good one. That is a nice goal. I don't think. I think there was some miscommunication between Bison's Mojo because it went just between all three of them. Yeah, they definitely didn't catch the one like it caught them off the guard. But there is a kickoff for the next part here. Let's see who will have the control. Well, so far, it goes on towards the side of Team Bison's, but I think that Team Bison's. No, actually, no. Goes in favor of Team Papa's on the line so far. 
team Papa is kicking the ball in. There is a big difference how they play, that's what they started to do. But there is a chance now, distant ball coming in straight for the goal and immediately equalizing point here. Aye, one, aye, two, aye, one, aye, man. Aye. That's also not a good defensive setup. It goes past all of them yet again. Uh, that is how quickly it can go 1 1, Mojo. Again. I wonder what would be the goal cap if you didn't have the maximum of only three you can achieve. Uh, it depends on who you're playing against. Between these teams, I wouldn't say it's that high. Yeah, but they can score really fast, as you can see. Well, ball now on the side of Team Bisons, and now they, you see, I think Team Papa's online have adopted Mojo. Papa Pyron's no longer actually going for the ball. They're also playing on the side of the pitch. Yeah, they're playing uh, much better now, but still there is one major difference when they're attacking. You can see all, all the time Papa is in the front line, while uh, Team Bisons keep their AMX in the middle when they're attacking. Yeah, and he doesn't also fire all of his shots. He always saves. He always he, he keeps some shots, but now Necro is on reload. Papa's off of reload. They need to send up this ball while the AMX is still reloading. Currently 1-1, one, one, still a lot of time available. That looks like a center ball and there needs to be an attempt here. Can No, no, no. Nice clear from Team Bisons. Andret managed to get reload and clear it out, but still the pressure is on their side. If the ball kicks off badly, it can go toward the goal of the Papa is not online team, but I don't think it will happen now. Well, Alio and Papa Pavin are trying to pressure the ball here. That's a higher one. It could be dangerous as well. Necro still on reload, but there is a nice clear there from the both t 6 ways from Team Bisons. Alio now already retreating. Necro is off of reload. Alio needs to hit the shot. He does, but it doesn't look like there's any goal attempt about to happen. Catch up very defensive as well, very far back. Ooh. Always need to be careful with those diversions. Yeah, but this is like a distant ball. Everyone was far away. It's really hard to hit the ball like that and make it enter the goal, especially if it goes high. All you need to do as a defender is just to hit it and speed it up. And it's almost impossible to hit it correctly then. Papa now trying to get the ball in the front, but there is another clear there. Papa now bailing rather quickly. Can he get the ball? This no, it goes straight dangerous. over him. Now he just need to be careful. He goes straight center, catch needs to defend, and he does. Nice diversion onto the ball. That would be pretty much a uh, stake in the heart if Kacha missed this, but this is a good thing because now they can come back still in the game. It's 1-1, maybe we will see first overtime in this match, possibly. There's still a lot of time left, there's uh, 3 minutes and 25 seconds right now. Um, after the initial aggression, both teams not really getting here. goal attempt, but that's a high ball, it goes straight past. I think Papa, Papa kicked hit it the off. ball. Papa kicked it off. That's what I said, like if the ball is going like that way, it's easiest way for a defender if he's under correct angle to hit it and just speed it up more because then for uh, attackers it's really hard to hit it. Again, nice setup there. You can see the same setup from Team Bison's always. Necro behind the ball, the other two defending the goal and that's a dangerous center. You need to be careful here. And it goes just off the post though. Just off the post. That lucky save there from Team Papa's not online. Yeah, luck is part of the game as usual, so we hope to see some of that more, especially for our European guys. Well, you know, they need to win this round. There is no there's no second chances for them anymore. They already used that and they... Well, every round is the last round for them, so... Yeah, one way or another. Well, uh, you know, this could be the last round of the tournament for them as well, you know. Ooh, again, dangerous, dangerous these center balls. One good hit and that could be it all over, depending on who has the reload. Papa is closing in a ball. He needs to lead it out on the enemy side because he needs to score one more. He needs to score. One more goal, and there is, a, there is a great chance now, but the ball is going away, kicked off by the Team Bisons on the side. And now it's into the corner of Team Bisons on their pitch. Necro gets behind the ball, starts clipping it out as Papa is still on reload. They're trying to get it away, that is towards the center. Kacha, he's going to be the first man there. Nice direction. Alio just makes it uh, go towards their corner. Better safe than sorry. You can see the most of the time ball actually spends this its time in a corner here because the teams are battling it here and it's easier for them to control it. And pretty much what it takes is one or two guys to miss a ball or to miss a reload and you get a chance like this that can end up in a goal. And it's gonna be a goal for Team Bison's Mojo. It looked iffy there for a second but the ball went over the line anyways you can see there it was uh, it went over the tank of the T6 way I think of Kachas so that is 2-1 now in favor of Team Bison. Team Papa is not online. Are 2-1 down, not just in score, but also in overall match results. So they really need to equalize here, at the very least. At the very least, they have 80 seconds left to score a goal, so they can go in overtime and even stay in the match, which is no guarantee whatsoever, but I would like to see it at least once. But this is a great advantage for Team Bison now, because they only need to play defensive and maybe even use that chance to counterattack. 
you can see Necro now on reload in the AMX. That's an opportunity here for Team Papa's not aligned to get the ball towards the center. Maybe get another attempt out of it. Papa has two more shots available. That's a nice clear there from Unred. Makes sure that Papa cannot center the ball. Papa is using even an extra two shells. He just reloaded them, but that was not enough and he will not have that skill until the end of the game, I think. Well, now Alio Kacha are going to have to make sure that the ball does not go in their own goal as they try and sh uh, come back to the fen here. But you can see already again the setup from Team Bisons. And now Team Papa's on another line. Have 30 seconds. They really need to get the ball out of that area if they want to have a single goal attempt left. 25 seconds of your life in this game, guys. Come on, try and make us proud. Well, Mojo, there's 20 seconds left now and the ball is still in the corner of Team Papa. is not online. They really need to get it forward now. Necro has two more shots available. They need to get it past 10 seconds left. It's not looking good. From finally, Necro's on reload now in a T62A. The, the ball goes towards the center though. Five seconds left, four seconds left. It doesn't look like it's about to happen and it will be Team Bisons to qualify themselves into the grand finals of the Tank Football Tournament. Team Papa is not online, sadly. Is, uh, is out, Mojo. They're out. 3 to 1 for Team Bisons. What can we do? One of our European teams is out. But the start of the game, I think, was a shocker because those three zeros, it looked like Papa is not online, was definitely not prepared for such aggression from the start and ball control. But uh, later, they kind of got hand of them. That goal that they scored, although Necro was not there, but it uh, helped them to regain their posture. If they played, like this all the time, this match would be much closer. Yeah, you can see some of the highlights here, some of the goals. There were some really nice goals scored by both teams, but in essence, really, the ball control was in so much favor of uh, Team Bisons most of the time. They just seem to have the, the, the better, the more superior setup of how to approach the ball when it's in the corner and how to get a goal attempt out of it. For me, the most impressive goals are when they manage to divert the ball and uh, pretty much all three of them shoot from another half and control the ball and its uh, angles from really, really far away. Yeah. Sadly Takes a lot of skill and coordination for that. Sadly enough, we're going to say bye-bye. Team Papa is not online. I'll make sure to uh, demote them to reservist, cut their gold payout in half, if not more. Well, you know, you know they, only, they only made it to the semis, Mojo. Yeah, so they will get some gold from this anyway. Exactly. So they don't need anything exactly. from the clan. Mojo, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I'll keep that in mind. Rem remind me of that. Remind me of that. I'll be sure to bring it up to their attention. I'm, I'm sure they're going to love you for it. Got to be loved for something, right? I mean, I mean I'm, not sure. I'm not sure about the love mojo, but, you know, it was a good result though, from Team Bison's. All of that preparation really coming into effect and um, their tactics seem to work. Yeah, these guys definitely seemed better prepared. Uh, if uh, maybe Papa is not online, he had uh, regular opponents like this, they would not be in this situation. But it is how it is. Everyone who deserves... That's how the pass. cookie crumbles, huh? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's not over though. I mean, for Europe, for the Papa is not online, it is definitely over. Um, we still have our secondary team from Europe. We can still root for them. We can't even call them secondary because they are primary. I mean, I mean, Maybe for you, they're I, secondary no, 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 because no. you're I mean a in terms of, commander. I mean, in terms of the, the, when they play in the tournament, because they play second. They play the second match, definitely. And they are the leading spear of this tournament even because they are the reigning champions from 2016. But we will see, will they help them in this match? Yeah, let's take a quick look at the bracket. You can see Team Bison's defeating Team Papa is not online. And now it goes on to... Where is my coffee versus Jola support? Obviously, I'm not going to ask you who you want to win because we both know. We will definitely both cheer for a European team as always. Where is my coffee is a second uh, CIS team and uh, Jola support has all our hopes for this match and for the tournament itself. Yeah, we would like to see a CIS uh, EU finals, to be completely honest. You know, we're, uh, we're biased. We, we like to admit that as well. Um, Team Drilla support, though, in the, in the preparation itself, they said they were much more prepared than Team Papa is not online. So um, I expect a lot more from them in that regard. Yeah, they uh, were talking about like, how much they tra train, that they have between 1,500 plus games per member. Yeah. <laughs> so that's quite a lot. And uh, a lot of motivation because they gathered even after two years to play a tournament again. They're guys that definitely stuck together. Yeah, I mean, they have the experience. They said, well, what they, like you said, 1,500 battles in the uh, football mode of this year. And then if you take the 2016 with it, they said something like 3,000 3, games, uh, every single one of them. That's uh, an impressive amount of tank football. It's just amazing. 
Um, you, you played as much as then you, you know, you spent your days playing tank football. Oof, totally. I yeah. almost have a GG, man. It I'm really? lacking like one card. And w w w Mojo, how can you not have the card yet? Because I'm not good enough. Mojo. Otherwise, I would have played the tournament. I would not comment it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, in my heart, you're a, in my heart, you're an MVP, really. Definitely, we should make a team then. Um, I, I'm gonna pass on making a team with you. <laughs> um, you know, I I um, I can't do such things, Mojo. But you know, you definitely get the MVP still. You know, the team thingy. Uh, that's uh, you. You gotta pay extra for that. Okay. Okay. So you don't wanna play games with me? Well. <laughs> Well, Mojo, it was a great first match and there's still plenty of action to come. When we get back from our little break, we'll have our next match, which is Team Jolla Support versus Team Where Is My Coffee. The action continues right after this. The second season of Ranked Battles kicks off. You've got three weeks to display your mastery and earn a well-deserved reward. The rules are the same. 22 familiar maps. Tier 10 vehicles only. The battle format is 15 versus 15 with standard victory conditions. Destroy all opposing vehicles or capture the enemy base. The key feature is that players are matched according to their ranks. Your rank changes depending on your performance in battle. Teams will always be comprised of an equal number of players at a particular rank. There are 15 ranks available. To reach the next rank, chevrons are required, which are earned in rank battles. The 10 best players of the winning team are awarded with one chevron. Additionally, the top three will receive an additional chevron. The remaining five will neither receive nor lose anything. Only the top player by base experience earned from the losing team will receive a chevron. The next four players will retain their chevrons, while the rest will lose one. If your chevron losing streak persists, a rank may be lost. Ranks 1 and 15 are permanent. Ranks 5, 10 and 13 are protected. This protection will dismiss a number of losses that would lead to a loss of rank. The rank 5 shield allows three losses. The rank 10 shield, two losses, and the rank 13 shield, one loss. If you receive a chevron in a battle at these ranks, the shield becomes fully restored. A new addition for this second season is a detailed breakdown of battle experience. A brand new block is featured in the battle results screen. Experience earned is divided into three categories, which are in turn split into components. To view the components, hover your cursor over them. Each new rank not only provides a feeling of joy and accomplishment, but you get a nice reward as well. The higher you rise, the more you get. Rank one, for instance, rewards you with 50,000 credits, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, a repair kit, and a personal reserve for experience. Reaching rank 15 will get you personal reserves for experience experience and credits, three days of premium account, a slot in the garage, one million credits, and 1,000 bonds. Season leaders will receive additional rewards, gold, even more bonds, days of premium account, unique styles, and commemorative badges. As a bonus, you can even complete missions for the Battle of Kursk event and Ranked Battles. Ranked Battles. Compete with your peers. Defeat the best. Summer Sale. It's discounts galore this summer in World of Tanks. Enjoy discounts of 30% and 50% all over the premium shop. That's right, up to 50% off. Just think of all those savings. Starting from July 20th, there will be a new set of vehicles discounted for at least two days. These bundles will only be on sale once, so get them before they're gone for good. Checking the offers online and in-game is easy. Like the offer? Buy it. Simple. But wait, there's more. When bundles change, bam, a new mission appears. The mission is a piece of cake, so have fun out there and be rewarded. The summer sale in World of Tanks. Don't miss out.
At the end of July, the second season of Rank Battles kicks off. You've got three weeks to display your mastery and earn a well-deserved reward. The rules are the same. 22 familiar maps. Tier 10 vehicles only. The battle format is 15 versus 15 with standard victory conditions. Destroy all opposing vehicles or capture the enemy base. The key feature is that players are matched according to their ranks. Your rank changes depending on your performance in battle. Teams will always be comprised of an equal number of players at a particular rank. There are 15 ranks available. To reach the next rank, chevrons are required, which are earned in rank battles. The 10 best players of the winning team are awarded with one chevron. Additionally, the top three will receive an additional chevron. The remaining five will neither receive nor lose anything. Only the top player by base experience earned from the losing team will receive a chevron. The next four players will retain their chevrons, while the rest will lose one. If your chevron losing streak persists, a rank may be lost. Ranks 1 and 15 are permanent. Ranks 5, 10, and 13 are protected. This protection will dismiss a number of losses that would lead to a loss of rank. The rank 5 shield allows three losses. The rank 10 shield, two losses, and the rank 13 shield, one loss. If you receive a chevron in a battle at these ranks, the shield becomes fully restored. A new addition for this second season is a detailed breakdown of battle experience. A brand new block is featured in the battle results screen. Experience earned is divided into three categories, which are in turn split into components. To view the components, hover your cursor over them. Each new rank not only provides a feeling of joy and accomplishment, but you get a nice reward as well. The higher you rise, the more you get. Rank one, for instance, rewards you with 50,000 credits, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, a repair kit, and a personal reserve for experience. Reaching rank 15 will get you personal reserves for experience experience and credits, three days of premium account, a slot in the garage, one million credits, and 1,000 bonds. Seasoned leaders will receive additional rewards, gold, even more bonds, days of premium account, unique styles, and commemorative badges. As a bonus, you can even complete missions for the Battle of Kursk event and Ranked Battles. Ranked Battles. Compete with your peers. Defeat the best. Summer Sale. It's discounts galore this summer in World of Tanks. Enjoy discounts of 30% and 50% all over the premium shop. That's right, up to 50% off. Just think of all those savings. Starting from July 20th, there will be a new set of vehicles discounted for at least two days. These bundles will only be on sale once, so get them before they're gone for good. Checking the offers online and in-game is easy. Like the offer? Buy it. Simple. But wait, there's more. When bundles change, bam, a new mission appears. The mission is a piece of cake, so have fun out there and be rewarded. The summer sale in World of Tanks. Don't miss out.
At the end of July, the second season of Rank Battles kicks off. You've got three weeks to display your mastery and earn a well-deserved reward. The rules are the same. 22 familiar maps. Tier 10 vehicles only. The battle format is 15 versus 15. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tang Football Tournament. My name is Jody Versmes, and I'm still joined here by Mihailo Jugovic, luckily enough, for some more World of Tanks football. Yeah, unfortunately, we saw one European team fall out. They lost 3-1 to in total score to the Russian number one team, CIS number team. But there is still hope. There is still hope. Yeah, Mojo, just to, for anybody tuning in at this moment in time, we do have the champions of EU and the runners-up from EU and the champions from CIS and the runners-up from CIS competing in a tournament against each other. We already had one match, which was the champion of CIS versus the runners-up from Europe, the champions of CIS, showing that they were a little bit of a tough nut to crack for, uh, for uh, Europe's runners-up. They're just dominant. Very you can just say that they were very skillful. You can see they are well versed in this mode that they practiced a lot, and they just dominated. On Papa is not online. And what these teams are playing for more than just pride. They're playing for some incredible prizes, and nothing less than a T-shirt signed by Gigi Buffon himself. Gigi Buffon, the legendary goalkeeper. So this is like a trivia you will want to keep for life if you like the football plus the football itself. Yeah, Mojo. Well, I mean, at least now you're calling him a legendary goalkeeper. Yesterday you were calling him a legendary defender. Well, it kind of happened because defender is kind of a tank you use on a goal in this game, but, you oh. know. Okay, Mojo. I'll, okay, actually, I'll, for, I'll forgive you for that one. I'll forgive you for that one. But it's not just the teams that can win something. It's also you guys at home. There are giveaways running in our Twitch channel. If you're watching on the other platforms, head over to twitch.tv slash World of Tanks to participate in those giveaways. It's premium tanks and premium days that are being given away. The moderators in the chat will guide you on how to win. Yeah, stay tuned and stay active in the chat so you can get it. Five tanks, man, for watching something fun. That's I mean. Cool. Four, t four tanks left since one of them goes to me, obviously, and nine times. Obvious reason is, because you already one, have 50 one, of them. One of them goes to me. I mean, there's always room for one more, right? Always. Well, Mojo, let's take a look at how we are currently progressed in the tournament, the bracket itself. Like I said, we already had one match. Team Bisons versus Papa is not online, ended up 3 to 1. Disastrous start, uh, 2 to 0 for uh, Team Bisons leading 3-0 in the goals in each of those games like that was really strong opening by them yeah team papa is on online trying something interesting something we haven't seen triple t62a and uh yeah, well, didn't pay off. there was a reason why we didn't see it yet because it ended up being a disaster didn't pay off definitely they tried to do something after losing the first game 3-0 but what can you do next match we're gonna see is where is my coffee number two cis team against best European and uh, reigning champion from the 2016. Yeah, well, you know, uh, reigning champions indeed. They played in 2016. They won as well. They took down uh, team Quark, if I'm... Quark. Quark. I was, I was trying to, you know, remember the, the name, how to say it, team Quark. Um, they have an interesting dynamic because two of their players are actually brothers, Mojo. Um, so, you know, having a brother in a team, I don't know if I would like that, actually. But the brother is an uh, addition to the team. Uh, I mean, LK and Electrix are brothers, but the original team of first three guys is the ones who actually mm -hmm. won the last championship. So, I don't know, maybe they will just bench Electrix so there is no, like, uh, family quarrels, you know? Family quarrels. I mean, you know, one hand, you know, your brother really well. On the other hand, you might also, like, think he's really annoying and be like, I don't really want to play with him. Well, no, but they are a team that actually managed to get here. Yes. They, they had some uh, problems on the way, that's for sure. Yeah, they had some problems indeed, but they did say that they practiced a lot, which is the difference between them and Team Papa's Not Online. Um, they said they practiced a lot, they have uh, different dynamics, they focus a lot on ball, ball control as well, which Team Bisons was doing as well. Yeah, between them, they said they have like 3,000 games in total of the both tournaments. But we can see the setup, setup already. MX by 262s, as far as I can see on the both sides, as this is something balanced that we were expecting. Like, where is my coffee team, their opponent? Pretty much they say, said the same, like Papa is not online. They, we didn't practice much and we actually didn't know each other before this tournament. 
yeah, these uh, CS teams have this dynamic of being able to find each other on the forums much. It's very interesting. Yeah, this is something that European guys don't usually do it's that much, forum. but the but the game already started. There's been a kickoff, and the ball is already on where is my coffee side. Already on the side of where is my coffee. The CS team being pressured first, but so far so good here. They managed to clear the ball though back into the court of Jola support Mojo. Setnix and LK and SVK, so there is no electric, the brother is not in the game. Uh, we will see the control by Philip, who is trying to kick it off back on the Where is my coffee side, and uh, they're kind of struggling with it at the moment. Yeah, they are kind of struggling, but now Team Jola support manages to get it into Where is my coffee's playing field again. This corner, oh, that's a very high ball. That's something we didn't really see in the last match. Yeah, usually you'd see that only when you have an even 100 in a match because of the splash of that tank. But uh, we said already there is a high chance we will not see that tank. But still, you can perform it even with some of these guys here. Yeah, it depends on when you hit the ball, right? If multiple people hit it at the same time, the ball gets extra speed. So there is that. But this is a little bit more dynamic from uh, both these teams that we've seen. That's a dangerous center ball, but a nice clear there. By, back it's towards not the clear yet. This is still close. This is still close, and they're using every last shell they can to kick it off. But drill of support playing really slow and tactical from big distances. As you can see they're not closing in, but there you go. Already they scored it. Like apparently they don't need to here? close range. They got it centered. The reload available as well. Great goal there. You can see multiple shots coming in at the same time from the back lines. Actually, unbelievable. Like when we thought the heat is off, suddenly there is a ball and bam, it's That's done. It. I watched these guys play against Team Papa's not line. That's again a dangerous center. It's not cleared yet. It's going off the post, and that might be the second goal for Drilla support. Uh, where's my coffee? I think they really didn't get it today because oh uh, they seem uh, not in the game just yet. This is definitely the fastest goal we've seen so far, and this is this is an avalanche. This is not a stomp. This is not good for Team Where's My Coffee, but Jola Support taking a significant lead here in the first round. And Mojo, I watched these guys play against Team Papa's Not Online in the finals, and they decimated Team Papa's Not Online as well. So these, these guys know how to dominate. Let's see, they used two 62s in the back and AMX in the front, same like Team Papa did. Uh, but the ball control they're doing, this will be the third one! That was uh, some right. magnificent ball control there from the AMX. Okay. Uh, Philip uh, really showing off some uh, some ball control in that AMX, and that is 3-0. Uh, wow. That was the <laughs> fastest game so far. That, that is a 3-0, well-deserved, really. And uh, they took, they've took they taken Team Where's My Coffee by storm. This was just a two-minute game, guys. Two-minute game. Every little slack of opportunity you give it to these guys. I mean, if you show them like a piece of a finger, they're going to cut off an arm. I mean, the, the second goal came from the, from, the, from the pitch. You could see there multiple guys hitting the ball at the same time. And this was after the kickoff. And again, reloads in their favor just, just goes in. Uh, and the, the last one here definitely was beautiful. They keep it high at this point. It goes high and they manage, like, again, still, multiple guys stopping it at the same time on two out of those three goals. It's just amazing, man. See here, Philip, actually, you know, in the striker, playing that AMX, managing to get two goals. Well, obviously, he's playing an AMX. Two goals here, he's supposed to do that job, but he was really good at controlling it, and his teammates are superb how to set up the ball for him. They said in an interview that is their prime goal, like how to cooperate between the guys, and that their tactics are usually aggressive, but they kind of want to see how the enemy is playing and see their flows and work on them. Amoja, in the last round, they didn't get to see much of how the enemy plays because they were dominating all over the place. Again, both teams deciding for the double T62A and the AMX. No changes. No changes here. I hope the guys will have some coffee before this match because they, they didn't like look a, like they were there. They need like a double espresso, honestly, at this point. Anything that can help them because... Uh, the kickoff is on here. Vashodnik. Multicom and Puffy. They do have a chance because this is best of five. That means that one team actually has to win three games. That's a very, very high ball. Can they center it though? Nice. Nice control actually there. Uh, back in towards the corner though. Draw the support again. Instantly putting the pressure. Philip still has three shots available and there just seems to be no shots coming in from where's my coffee. Finally, they managed to get a good clear though. The ball goes back towards the center, back in towards the corner now. And now the EMX coming off reload. Philip on reload himself. Jola support just going, trying to control until Philip is back in action. Look how defensive they were. They had in one moment all three guys on a goal, like scared, super scared. And there we go, B ball is going above Puffy. SVK has a lot of shells. I'm pretty sure they counted how much Puffy has. Puffy actually used extra shells 
in defense. Ooh, this is dangerous. This is a clear there. Philip though misses the shot. And again, back towards the other corner now. Puffy will be reloaded, Mojo. But like you said, they were definitely keeping tracks of the reload there. They decided to strike with Philip once they knew Puffy was on reload. We have a different lineup in this game. It's Setnix and Electrics now playing. Again, brothers are not playing together. Thank God. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play with my brother. That's all I'm going to say. Well, LK, uh, the guy from Drilla Support, actually said he played the second professional league in Slovakia. So he's, in this tournament, the only guy who actually played football for real. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is true, Mojo. That is, that is true. It's pretty high in Slovakia as well. So, um, I mean, maybe he could have brought him to the World Cup because, you know. Well, from the second league, it would take a while. I mean, you never know, right? There you go. There is another chance here. The ball is close. What is Vasco doing? He's kind of saving the shell. I think he's AFK. I mean, right. that feeling that he's I AFK. I really hope he didn't lose internet in he such is a moment. AFK because that is, that is an attempt. No, no. Multicom saves that. Multicom oh, my dear God. That, though. <laughs> As he goes straight past him, the ball has no stop. You can see Multicom there. He's blocking the ball, but the ball knows no stopping for him. It's like a ball when it hits Neymar, man. It just ends on a field. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, but Mojo, listen, if the wind hits Neymar, he ends up on the field, okay? He doesn't even need to be touched by anybody. He, he did less pirouettes than Neymar, Neymar actually did. Mojo, you know that it's rumored that up until this date, Neymar is still spinning? Still spinning? It's still spinning. <laughs> Around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> but again, Team Jola support taking control. Ball goes in towards the corner. They are dominating Mojo and they are doing a little bit of a different setup though than what we saw already from Team Bison. They're even further back on the field. In the second uh, game here, they're already in a lead 1-0, to zero, but this is not as fast game as it was. I mean, where is my coffee as Papa is not online, are kind of learning, but it's a slow progress, man. This is not a moment to learn, this is a time to shine. They shouldn't really have to learn in this one, but it does seem like it is a learning experience so far. You can see here the setup very far back from Team Drilla Support. They're trying to clear the ball now, both sides going at it. Puffy has no more shot. Well, he just activated his abilities, he has two more. He's on reload now though, Philip on reload as well. It's just the T6 ways against each other. Nice block there coming out, and that is a dangerous. Multicom actually misses Puffy, intercepting. Is it going to be enough? Ooh, <laughs> just next to the post. Man, look at those shots coming in, like they're actually managing to control the, low, uh, the ball from entirety of the field, from entire other side, like that's super hard. Whoever played this ever knows that, and look at this, this will be really close. Mojo, they're trying to block him, Multicom is in front of him, can they hit it though? It's on the line and it goes in and that's 2-0 for Team Drilla support, there was nobody that could clear the ball there. And they, these guys are snipers. Yeah. Like serious snipers. You know, you're trying to block the ball and all of a sudden one, two, three tap and the ball's in. Like one, 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 some people can say they're redliners even, man. Stat feathers. Redliners, I have experience with those. A little bit of experience, but again, draw support from the kickoff, straight the ball into the corner. He's out towards the center. Ooh, Puffy is all as well behind the ball. That's not good. It goes high. Does it go in? No, just about bounces off, but it does go in on the rebound. And that's team Drilla support 3 0. So far, they're, they're doing what Team Bison's did to Team Papa has done online, my job. 2 0. This is, this is by far harder game. I mean, these guys show prowess, skill. Uh, they know how to engage. I mean, literally, when coffee guys just relax a little bit and think, they think the danger is gone, there is another uh, batch of shells coming in and the ball is going. You can see them. that on the replays, like, you know, you try and block the ball and then all of a sudden from the back lines, one, two combination coming in, multiple shots from very, very far back. I mean, because see Drilla support is very far on their own pitch, really, if anything, uh, which is a difference. Team Bison's was more around center, around midfield, uh, and while Team Drilla support is even further behind that. Like, guys, to just put something in perspective, uh, where is my coffee? On their, uh, while they were qualifying, they actually managed to beat the Quarks, the guys who were previous championship yeah. champions in CIS, so they're not some nobodies. And they're getting handled like this. They're getting handled and they have one more opportunity and it's going to be interesting more. I already see something cool that is going to come out here from these guys. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. Um, they have obviously, it's the best of five, so if they don't win this one, that's them, that's, they're out. Yeah, this is a match point of course, but uh, you need to come back in the game, man. You fight till the last. I mean, 
Team Papa's not online, managed to take at least one round Mojo, so we're hoping for Where's My Coffee to do the same at the very least, to get a match on our hands here. We don't want to see them go home with a 3-0 scoreline. No, no one wants to go like that, but they will have to really, really improve a lot to beat these guys. Now, Mojo, let's switch over to the game and we can see something to talk about. Double AMX on the side of Where's My Coffee. Double AMX on Where Is My Coffee, that's a kind of a risk they're willing to take because they cannot simply kick off the balls, but Multicom and Puffy both chasing ball here. I'm not sure is it the best, but this is pretty much the only chance they had in the entire match to have the ball on the enemy side. So maybe, maybe in some way it will pay off. Well, they're both reloading now, though, on those AMXs. You can see Multicom about 80% through uh, Puffy now on 80%. <laughs> they already outplayed Multicom. Yeah, ball goes straight past Multicom into the corner. Puffy is the final line of defense as, multi, uh, uh, as he starts clearing the ball. Multicom now in position as well. Those the AMXs. They have a lot of shots available. Once they're on reload, you can see how quickly Drilla support is able to cross the Additional pitch. two shells, man. They're playing for all or nothing here. I mean, Multicom is using also additional shells here. What are they going to do when they both go in a reload? Well, they're both on reload right now. And this now they have only one guy who can shoot. Well, you can see now, can where can Team Drilla support do it? There's a clear there just on the line. Multicom is about to come off reload, but the ball goes past him yet again. Puffy is, a, is in position, though. But this sniper from Drilla support are really hammering that ball back in towards that corner. Unbelievable ball control, man. They managed to keep the ball on the enemy side through the two enemy bursts, boosted by those two additional shells both. But they're not going to have that for a while now. And they're not going to have that for a while. Indeed, Multicom, Puffy now chasing the ball again. They're both off of reload. Here starts the clip. Puffy starts first. Multicom will be the second one. They want to get the ball on towards the pitch. But again, Drilla support very good at keeping the ball there. Even with those extra shells, it doesn't seem like they're able to just clear it. Like you can put these guys in clan order, man, and put them on sniping positions. Like <laughs> I already have more than plenty of enough players that don't know how to push him, Mojo. I don't need any more snipers. Oh, but these guys actually hit their shells, man. If, I mean, yes, but you know, that's that's. I, I that's don't a different have, story. Not enough gold for everybody, Mojo. Are you running a lot? He's <laughs> <But, laughs> not gonna go there. Still, Electric's playing instead of LK. They're a bit defensive now because where is my coffee? Finally managed to get ball on their side, but as I said it, there we go. And Multicom and Puffy are back on reload. The ball's in the corner there on their side of the pitch. And that's a nice forward there cleared from the goal though by Where's My Coffee. Both AMX is now off of reload. Puffy has four more shots available. Multicom has all. Ball goes straight over Puffy. Those AMXs seem to be getting outplayed quite often, Mojo. Yeah, they just need to put the ball above them and they cannot really handle it at all. So the only guy who can do something about it is maybe then Vasco or Sunshine, if you translate it. Yeah, Sunshine Mojo, he needs to pray that the rainy clouds go away because it's definitely thundering above their houses right now. Well, he's the one saving the goal so far all the time, more or less. But this is really defensive play by them. Like, by definition, having two AMXs should mean that you are completely non-offensive, but they can barely hold their ground on their half with those two. Yeah, double AMX with all those shots, even when they're both off of reload, they seem to be very... Uh, unable to even get the ball on towards the other side. Like you can see here, Philip still three shots available. Was looking for the attempt. Nice clear there, Philip. The <laughs> ball goes over him Phillip. though. Ooh, Philip, will he get back on time? Goes back on towards the side of Drilla yeah, support. His nitro used by Setnix immediately so he can come back and boost Electrics on a goal. So they're not giving any chance. They're not relaxing. I guess that's why they were the champions, man. Yeah, they do, they do look like a championship team right now. The ball goes towards the Senator again. Nicely cleared. Now can they divert it? Nope. Just seems to be going in towards the corner. Dynamics is now back. This is a way, you know, for the aggressive lineup that's been picked. Zero goals. Zero goals. Three minutes till the end. And uh, no goals here. Uh, but there is only one thing Drilla support is waiting and there, that is for where is my coffee to make some mistake. Maybe made by an inexperience. Although so far, so good for team where is my coffee to get the ball back on towards the half of Jola support that's even going towards center goal there is a diversion there though back in towards the corner Philip now coming in as well he's still on reload for a few more seconds but once he has he'll be trying to clear that ball as well you can see there good ball control coming out from Jola support there's double AMXs they're almost on reload both of them and then it will be Jola support with the advantage again He's out of the shell, so he's backing off in the back line immediately. But as far as I see, the other 13 105 is also out of the shell, so they're running away to block off the ball when it comes to their side. Luckily for them, Vashodnik managed to actually hit it off, so they're holding the lines. Two minutes, 20 seconds, guys. If this goes in overtime, so far 
there is two ways how to win an overtime. One is the rule of a golden goal. Whoever sc scores the first goal, that's it, it's a win. Other thing that can happen is whoever has a ball on enemy side in duration of total of 100 seconds, he wins the match. And so far, by the gameplay, the ball is almost like three out of four seconds on the side of Where Is My Coffee team. I mean, Where Is My Coffee is able to get the ball on towards the other side when they have the reload available in those AMXs. But, but the issue is, yeah, as soon as they're on reload, the ball just gets instantly nailed back towards the other side. It's just like, I, I like the double AMX, but they need to be aggressive with it. And they haven't gotten a single actual goal attempt with it so far. I don't think they have a chance. Like the ball control by drill, drill support is really just so superior, man. Coordination between these three guys is by far the best we've seen so far. Ooh, that was on towards the goal, but a diversion comes in now back on towards the corner of Where's My Coffee. Both the AMX is about to come off reload. 1 minute 17. Need to be careful here, Mojo. Neither team really wants to take a goal at this point. Yeah, um, 70 seconds to go. Definitely drill a support on the offensive. Usually when we see a ball on this side, it stays there for a while. Well, Mojo, so far it is doing exactly that. It's staying there for a while. The ball played both, both of the AMXs. This is the main opportunity, but Voskhod manages to save the day. Still some sunshine left for Where's My Coffee Ball now towards the center field. That's dangerous because of that double 62A from Drilla Support back and towards the corner now from Where's My Coffee. 45 seconds left. I think at this point they're going to start gambling on overtime because getting across towards the other side and getting a goal out of attempt out of it, it's going to take them a while. The ball is again coming over them, but Puffy managed to hit the shell, so Vosco doesn't have to do anything at the moment. The last shell that Puffy has, 28 seconds, 27 to go. Will SUK have enough shells to do this? No, doesn't, doesn't look like that. 20 seconds left now, back on towards the side of Jilla support, but there is Electrics from the back, sending it back to where's my coffee. Puffy is now trying to clip out 12 seconds. One more goal attempt maybe here. Gets cleared up. Puffy makes sure the ball does not go anywhere near his goal. It's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. And it looks like the first overtime of this tournament. First over, overtime, we actually wanted to see how that looks. And we will have a chance now. This... Wait. What? Wait, did they just score on the last second? I need to see a replay. <laughs> I really need to see a replay. It zero. actually happened in the very last millisecond. That's 0-0. Zero, zero. That was 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, that is unbelievable. Uh, that is unbelievable. I even didn't see it. I really, I, I thought we were done for overtime. Honestly, I thought. I didn't even overtime. see it. That Three these zero. guys are amazing, man. I, I, you I, cannot I, turn your eye away from that. I'm pretty sure at the thing, where's my coffee? Thought it was going to be overtime as well, but Jola supports having none of that, finishing it in in a regular time with a 3-0 match score. Clean sweep, clean clean, clean sweep. They're going for the repeat back-to-back -back champions, Mojo. Yeah, we will have uh, European champions against CIS champions, match of the gladiators, definitely teams that said both for themselves that they practiced a lot. But let's see the replays of the goals we've seen so far. It's going to be very unanimous. It's going to be very one-sided because uh, where's my coffee? Didn't manage to score once. You can see they're very good at getting those connections once the ball gets sent in here. Three shots at the same time come in onto the ball. Uh, this was a really high attempt. Uh, Multicom just gets pushed aside, like move out of the way. This is our goal. It's uh, these guys have no mercy whatsoever. No, it was rather one-sided, to be honest. And this was Philip there getting the ball really nicely centered. Again, it's just uh, Jola support everywhere. Nice diversion there. Really nice uh, hit when the ball is moving. The it's team not rotation, the control of the ball, the hitting of the angles, man. It's not the easiest reloads. thing to do to hit the ball on the move. You know, it's not the easiest thing to do. No, 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 especially from that distance, like whoever played it, you can know, like you can miss the entire ball, God forbid the angle you're shooting, and they're hitting everything. That's because I was always playing the 100 you know, Mojo. <laughs> because of splash? And because of the splash, dude. Do you know that with the 100 you can actually kick out the ball out of the enemy goal? Mm -hmm. If you miss it, like, it can splash and kick out the ball that would otherwise enter. Mojo, why, do, why am I not surprised that you know these kind of things? Because it happened to me, of course. I'm, I, Mojo, now... We have had two matches, that means we only have one more. Let's take a look at the tournament bracket and see where we are. Um, so yeah, both the runners-up actually not being able to do anything, uh, anything other than try their very best. 
but we will have a really great final showdown between Team Bison and Gila Support. By far, they were the best teams. There is no nothing oh, to say champions there. Champions in their respective regions. Yes, and uh, they deserve to fight each other. So I'm expecting a hard match, but I'm really hoping that Gila Support will, will repeat something we've seen so far. They just look so magnificent. Yeah, um, if I had to pick between the two, just unbiased opinion, um, I think Drilla Support looked a little bit more dominant than Team Bison's, a I, little bit. I would say both biased and unbiased opinion, I would go with it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, maybe, you know, Team Bison's had a harder opponent though. Yeah, probably, but uh, in every way. Like, I'm just watching how they control the ball, how are they moving over the it's field. It doesn't matter styles, who though. you play and look at this, like they scored a goal in last millisecond, man. Yeah. It has been a blast so far, two matches down, Mojo. We've got one more to go, but before that, we want to give everybody at home time to go grab a snack, grab a drink, and get back for the finals. When we come back, though, it is going to be the grand finals. It is going to be Team Bison's taking on Team Driller Support. Who will win? Find it out after the break. At the end of July, the second season of Ranked Battles kicks off. You've got three weeks to display your mastery and earn a well-deserved reward. The rules are the same. 22 familiar maps. Tier 10 vehicles only. The battle format is 15 versus 15 with standard victory conditions. Destroy all opposing vehicles or capture the enemy base. The key feature is that players are matched according to their ranks. Your rank changes depending on your performance in battle. Teams will always be comprised of an equal number of players at a particular rank. There are 15 ranks available. To reach the next rank, chevrons are required, which are earned in rank battles. The 10 best players of the winning team are awarded with one chevron. Additionally, the top three will receive an additional chevron. The remaining five will neither receive nor lose anything. Only the top player by base experience earned from the losing team will receive a chevron. The next four players will retain their chevrons, while the rest will lose one. If your chevron losing streak persists, a rank may be lost. Ranks 1 and 15 are permanent. Ranks 5, 10 and 13 are protected. This protection will dismiss a number of losses that would lead to a loss of rank. The rank 5 shield allows 3 losses, the rank 10 shield 2 losses, and the rank 13 shield 1 loss. If you receive a chevron in a battle at these ranks, the shield becomes fully restored. A new addition for this second season is a detailed breakdown of battle experience. A brand new block is featured in the battle results screen. Experience earned is divided into three categories, which are in turn split into components. To view the components, hover your cursor over them. Each new rank not only provides a feeling of joy and accomplishment, but you get a nice reward as well. The higher you rise, the more you get. Rank 1, for instance, rewards you with 50,000 credits, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, a repair kit, and a personal reserve for experience. Reaching rank 15 will get you personal reserves for experience experience and credits, three days of premium account, a slot in the garage, one million credits, and 1,000 bonds. Seasoned leaders will receive additional rewards, gold, even more bonds, days of premium account, unique styles, and commemorative badges. As a bonus, you can even complete missions for the Battle of Kursk event and rank battles. Ranked battles. Compete with your peers. Defeat the best. Summer Sale. It's discounts galore this summer in World of Tanks. Enjoy discounts of 30% and 50% all over the premium shop. That's right, up to 50% off. Just think of all those savings. Starting from July 20th, there will be a new set of vehicles discounted for at least two days. These bundles will only be on sale once, so get them before they're gone for good. Checking the offers online and in-game is easy. Like the offer? Buy it. Simple. But wait, there's more. When bundles change, bam, a new mission appears. The mission is a piece of cake, so have fun out there and be rewarded. The summer sale in World of Tanks. Don't miss out.
At the end of July, the second season of Ranked Battles kicks off. You've got three weeks to display your mastery and earn a well-deserved reward. The rules are the same. 22 familiar maps. Tier 10 vehicles only. The battle format is 15 versus 15 with standard victory conditions. Destroy all opposing vehicles or capture the enemy base. The key feature is that players are matched according to their ranks. Your rank changes depending on your performance in battle. Teams will always be comprised of an equal number of players at a particular rank. There are 15 ranks available. To reach the next rank, chevrons are required, which are earned in ranked battles. The 10 best players of the winning team are awarded with one chevron. Additionally, the top three will receive an additional chevron. The remaining five will neither receive nor lose anything. Only the top player by base experience earned from the losing team will receive a chevron. The next four players will retain their chevrons, while the rest will lose one. If your chevron losing streak persists, a rank may be lost. Ranks 1 and 15 are permanent. Ranks 5, 10, and 13 are protected. This protection will dismiss a number of losses that would lead to a loss of rank. The rank 5 shield allows three losses. The rank 10 shield, two losses. And the rank 13 shield, one loss. If you receive a chevron in a battle at these ranks, the shield becomes fully restored. A new addition for this second season is a detailed breakdown of battle experience. A brand new block is featured in the battle results screen. Experience earned is divided into three categories, which are in turn split into components. To view the components, hover your cursor over them. Each new rank not only provides a feeling of joy and accomplishment, but you get a nice reward as well. The higher you rise, the more you get. Rank 1, for instance, rewards you with 50,000 credits, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, a repair kit, and a personal reserve for experience. Reaching rank 15 will get you personal reserves for experience experience and credits, three days of premium account, a slot in the garage, one million credits, and 1,000 bonds. Seasoned leaders will receive additional rewards, gold, even more bonds, days of premium account, unique styles, and commemorative badges. As a bonus, you can even complete missions for the Battle of Kursk event and Ranked Battles. Ranked Battles. Compete with your peers. Defeat the best. Summer Sale. It's discounts galore this summer in World of Tanks. Enjoy discounts of 30% and 50% all over the premium shop. That's right, up to 50% off. Just think of all those savings. Starting from July 20th, there will be a new set of vehicles discounted for at least two days. These bundles will only be on sale once, so get them before they're gone for good. Checking the offers online and in-game is easy. Like the offer? Buy it. Simple. But wait, there's more. When bundles change, bam, a new mission appears. The mission is a piece of cake, so have fun out there and be rewarded. The summer sale in World of Tanks. Don't miss out.
Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Tank Football Tournament. We've had two matches. My name is still Jordi Vesmesse and it's still Mihailo Jugovic next to me. How are you feeling about the last match, Majo? It was a one-way stomp, to be honest. Like there is nothing to be said more about it, but it keeps our hopes up that actually Europe will win again. Well, for the people that are just tuning in, what is happening? We have ha we have the two best teams from CIS, the champion and the runners-up, and the two best teams from Europe, the champions and the runner-up. Well, competing, we had some of them. Had, had, competing in a tournament. Um, so far, Mojo, we've had two matches, as we said, and two there are finals. two semi-finals, and there's two teams remaining, both reigning champions of their regions. Yeah. CIS champion versus European championship champion. That's what we want to see the next. Yeah, um, too too bad for the European team that they're not going to be able to get these uh, amazing prizes because the teams are not just playing for fun; they're also playing for an amazing uh, um, football and T-shirt signed by Gigi Buffon. Gigi Buffon signed this T-shirt, the legendary goalkeeper, as we said, and the ball that is go, go to the teams. Of course, they'll get some uh, in-game prizes also, like gold. Uh, premium tanks, premium days, but the t-shirt is what they want. Yeah, the t-shirt is what all these teams want, but for the people at home that are also giveaways running on our Twitch channel, so if you're watching on Facebook, head over to twitch.tv slash tanks. Pretty sure there are some left for uh, the last match. Um, from, from, from what I we had five tanks and we had 10 times premium days. I don't know what's left of that, but you know, it's always I'm nice sure to be a winner. Follows. I'm, I'm sure it's chat I'm, I'm sure chat knows. I'm sure somebody can help you out with that. It's always nice to be a winner, right, Mojo? Well, I mean, four tanks and nine times premium days because obviously one goes to me. Always, always, always modest. I, I mean, you know, it's just... Humble. It's just what I, I deserve, a premium tank, honestly. I deserve it. Well, Mojo, let's take a look at the bracket uh, from how we got here. So first up, it was Team Bison versus Team Papa. It's not online. Yeah, that one didn't end up well for Papa, it's not online. You could see the difference in skill set, you could see the difference in mindset also because Team Bisons said they practiced a lot versus Papa is on, not online, they said we're going to wing it. They, they definitely did wing it and it definitely did not work out either. Yeah, the next match was uh, drill of support against Where Is My Coffee, which we saw was really, really one-way game. But now finally, Champion Drill of Support, 2060 champion also uh, in a previous tournament and reigning CIS champion Team Bisons. Well, these guys, uh, you know, Drill of Support, they, they know what it feels like to beat a, a Russian team. So they've done they've it done once. It before. It they can hard. do it again. You know, if you do it once, Mojo, the second time, it's always easier. You know, you know what to expect. Well, they did semi secures. They really seem secure and they really seem like they know what they're doing. The control of the field, control of the ball was just sublime. Yeah, both these teams, Mojo, they said they practiced a lot to get to this moment. Uh, both the teams with the more practice really coming in and showing what they are made of. Uh, we haven't seen the two brothers play together. Maybe they're keeping it for the last game because in a uh, European team we have actually two brothers. One of them didn't play the previous tournament in 2016. He joined them now, but the, he did play last two rounds of the previous match. Yeah. Um, Instead of his brother. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's an interesting dynamic though from the Russian teams. What we've seen is that they actually managed to find each other through leaderboards, through rankings. They're really committed to making that good team. So, you know, looking at the leaderboards to make people, looking at the forums even to, to make teams. It's, it's interesting. And amazing is also their third player's Necro plays the game only four months. Yeah, four, four months in a game that and is a, the final of a tournament. That's a quite exponential learning curve. Uh, yeah. If you want to look at it like Very that. Most surprising one, but here we go. Yeah, most here people are quite flatlined, slowly going up, and Necro seems to be just like a rocket, really. Maybe he's a natural. He seems to be like Mbappe when he gets the ball played of a uh, ball play to him from 45 meters away. Gets it somehow. Um, but it is interesting, Mojo, that both champions actually made it to the to the finals here. Yeah, but we can see the setups already. Both teams, as far as I can see, have the standard most uh, balanced setup we've seen so far. Double to 62A and MX13105, a striker and midfielders. Yeah, both these teams, that's what they've used so far throughout the tournament. No changes, no triple T62A like we saw from Papa. Uh, no double AMX shenanigans like we saw it, either from Where's My Coffee. It just looks like this setup gives the most accurate ball control, and uh, both in offense and defense. 
Oh, Mojo, let's get in it. Steam Bison's on the blue side versus Team Telesupport on the red. On, and he, we already have the ball. He's going over the Team Bison side. We already know that uh, guys from Drill Support can keep the ball quite accurately on that side. Philip seems to be a little bit more aggressive than we've seen from Drilla Support in the past. He's quite close towards Necro. They're exchanging a few shots. The ball goes past Necro, gets played towards him again. He's kind of blocking it with his tank call, trying to take a shot there. Ooh, nice cleared off from Team Bison's. Obviously, better prepared than where is my coffee. Instantly really react when the much, ball gets much, played much forward. better defense here. And there is like some slight offense by them. Also, we can see one exchange in Drilla Support. The notorious original brother who played the 2016 tournament, LK, is playing this game. Yeah, LK back in the game now. It's uh, now the corner game there for Drilla Support. You can see Philip and really in exactly the same position that we saw Necro on the other side. So both these teams kind of running the same strat on defense at least. On offense, we saw them vary a little bit. The ball goes straight past Philip though, just when he was about to reload, but it gets cleared again. Now playing it forward. Ooh, Ooh. Very close and nice defense by Setnix. Like this was super close, guys. Yeah, Setnix there coming in with a very, very needed clear. The ball now gets played back towards midfield. Philip again on reload in that AMX, and so far it's been all over the place between these two teams. Yeah, you can see that Philip didn't hesitate a second to empty the entire clip just to clear the ball off the goal. Like as soon as it was that dodgy situation, he didn't save a single shot. Ooh, that is a nice on the outside. There it goes past both of those players from Team Bison. Now back in towards their corner, they're scrambling back towards the defense. They managed to clear it on towards the side, and now it's up to Team Drill Support to siege that corner flag there from Team Bison and try and get a goal attempt out of it. We're almost two minutes into the first game of this match and there is a couple of opportunities there. They both look strong, but both teams managed to save their goal. Yeah, you can see LK there even using his uh, boosters on that T628. That's dangerous because it goes in between everybody. This might be trying to support here, taking the first goal. Can it get cleared? Yes, it can get cleared just about by Unra there and Necro, I think. Combination of the two. No one had the reload to just finish off Team Bison's in this moment, but it was super close and the best chance of this game so far. They're managing to keep the, the, game, the ball on Team Bison's side, but it's not for long. It's not for long. Now it goes back into the corner of Team Jola support, and uh, now it's going to be the siege attempt from uh, Team Bison's. Team Jola support just had the attempt and goal. You can see there the setup from Team Bison hasn't changed from what we saw against Team Papa's online. Philip just waits till the ball goes past him so he can start clipping it out, give it speed, push it past those defenders from Team Bison who are trying to keep it in that corner. They, met, they actually shot the ball in the same moment now, so this can actually be dangerous. Will this be a save? It was too high. In this moment, I just saw like uh, LK and Setnix. Else, yeah. No, no, but Setnix and uh, LK actually shot the ball in the same time, and that's why they didn't have a shot to defend against this. And yeah, they managed to keep the ball high and make it go past the goal, so there was no attempt. Philip now clipping out on the ball. Yeah, needs to be careful though, because this is going towards midfield. Again, he uses his ability, has two more shots now to keep for that defense. Yeah, wait, they were waiting there. Seemed like they were waiting for uh, Bisons to shoot first, so they had the uh, reload advantage. You can see that most of these teams actually don't hesitate. When they have a reload of this, those uh, next two shells, they, they just hit it instant. I mean, it's good to use your ability when you still can, right? It's okay, but like uh, you would expect it to be used in last ditch moments to score a goal or a defend, which this wasn't. But there we go. Another moment where the ball is going over the drill support goal. So far, a bit more chances for Team Bison's, I would say. Yeah, but I'd still uh, say the best attempt so far for Team Jola Support, though. Um, it's been a dynamic game between these two. Both teams actually able to get into the corner, but also both teams very good at defending. Can it be a deviation there? No. Uh, it's kind of going towards the goal, but not. It can speed. be dangerous for both of the teams at the moment. It depends who gets reloaded first here. Philip is reloaded after Necro, however. Four minutes into the game, three left for the first one and still no goals, but plenty of chances and big wrestle over the ball. Yeah, but it does seem like Jola Support managed to get momentum on towards the ball, but there is Dell with a nice shot, puts it towards the center. It's going past the goal, however, so back in towards the corner of Jola Support. Two minutes and 30 seconds. And so far, neither team really deserving that goal just yet. I wonder, did uh, playing with an extra player for drill support, maybe threw them off a bit because the first game was played by LK and then two games in a row by Electrics. I don't know, was it the smartest decision to change a player in the start? And there you go, the first goal goes to Team Bison's. Yeah, Team Bison's coming in strong, getting that high. You can see how high the ball is going. There was nobody able to push it past the goal either. And then comes in the quick one, two, three top to push it into the goal. Again, as we saw many times before, the key is to keep the ball a bit higher. 
so the guy can actually not defend by, by body, just by shots. At least they got it into the corner of Team Biasons now. They have two minutes to manage to get this ball towards the other half. It goes past Necro. Philip not using his shots just yet. You can see both his AMXs keeping on their shots. And as soon as Necro fired, Philip started firing as well. Those AMXs really keeping track of each other's reloads. They're just trying to take Necro out of the game because if the ball goes toward the goal, it's going to be very hard for him to actually help his team. The only thing he can do then is to kick it off further, if it's a good angle. See Philip there, I think he uses ability as well. Now Necro has one more shot available. He's on reload now. And now can Jola support do something with this? Because Philip will have reload before Necro does. Yeah, but the ball is not on a really great position for them. They have to kick it off the wall. They need to use it. They need to get it closer so they can bounce it up. You can see Necro there doing a really good job of keeping the ball momentum very low, not allowing the ball to get any speed so it can't ramp off the walls towards the center. And they managed to kick the ball away. One minute left, guys. 1-0 for Team Bisons and the reigning European and former champion of 2016 might actually lose the first game. It's looking like that so far, Mojo, but if there's anything Drilla support has shown us that they can score in the last second. So I wouldn't count them out just yet. Yeah, definitely, they, but you know that Team Bisons are not kind of guys that's going to, especially after watching the last game, relax. Oh, Mojo, they have 42 seconds to hold on here and Team Drilla support really needs to get the ball forward. That's a nice clear their pass, Dell, but immediately Necro coming from behind already. And that is Unrat as well there, defending. 30 seconds now, they really need to get the ball towards the other side because it is going to take some time to set up that goal attempt. It's a different kind of game when you are a team skilled like they are and you know you have only to defend. You don't have to make an effort to give an, an other goal. And you can you see just that, need to keep the ball away. You can see that a combination, you know, one guy pushes it on the wall, the other one pushes it forward and then Philip comes in with the shot. Team Bison though towards the goal. Nice there, cleared out just yet. LK giving it a touch as well. Throws it off a little bit for Team Bison, but with one second left, it will be Team Bison to pick up the first round here in the Grand Finals. And that is the CIS team picking up their first round. Strong opening for them. So 1-0 in the match, 1-0 in the first round. Strong opening for Team Bison, as we said, but this is just the start. It is just the start. Um, there's still plenty of rounds here, but it is the first round that uh, Drilla Support has lost all tournament. You know, it's something. It's the first round they've lost. That's even the first goal they received. Yeah, it is the first goal they received, actually. It was, an, it was a high ball. There was nobody in position to push it past. They already managed to push it past to go once when it went high this time around. Nobody in position, though, to really do it. And, you know, you don't give Team Bison... A, we saw a that there like were a couple of gaps in their coordination, which happened. But, uh, as I said, it's the first game, so we will see how will it happen onwards. Dell from uh, Team Bison, you can see his stats. All in all, 77 shots on the ball. Four and a half seconds, there's the reload, I think. Yeah. Of it. He's 62, so he used pretty much all of that. Um, pretty much shooting the entire game. And uh, let's hope for Drill of Support that they'll be able to recover in the second round. Do you think they're going to be substituting a player as we look at the setups? Let's see, LK, Setnix, and SVK, this is the same guys. And uh, Team Bisons have only three guys, so they cannot substitute anyone. I mean, they could play with two, you know, give a chance to their opponents. Mm -hmm. And we have the same tanks that they played, 262s and a mix on each side. So pretty much all around the same. All around the same. So let's see, Team Bisons versus Team Drilla Support. 1-0 currently for Team Bisons. Now we get into the second round immediately. The ball onto the side of Team Bisons though. So initial advantage for Drilla support. SVK is charging, trying to get close to this ball. Like really big difference in uh, both actually teams how they're playing now because before Necro was always between the 62s but barely did oh, oh, oh. a strong goal. Yeah, that's, Strong uh, approach by Drilla support. Uh, Unred is uh, no position to actually do anything uh, about that, you know, we saw Multicom be pushed out of the way and Unred, you know, the ball doesn't stop for a tank. Man, this is like some old school goal, like Lothar Mateus when he fires the ball and you have to measure how many kilometers it goes. Like, they stopped even, not for a tank. That's the comeback I want to see here from Drilla Support. You know, they lost the first round, they come in and they managed to score after just 30 seconds. That is, that is a, that's what you want to see, Mojo. That's a comeback right there. Well, they did say they like to adapt to the enemy, so they received that one goal. We can definitely see they are not weakened by it. They are playing even stronger. Necro still has two shots available. Gets pushed out of the way. Philip now on reload already. 
can see once he starts reloading, he starts sticking distance, starts going back just in case that Team Bison is able to put the ball on their half of the field. There are no chances taken here. Necro is now in full reload, but Philo will have the shells. He actually has them. This might be actually a chance for a second one. Oh, a lot of momentum given though to the ball from Team Bison. I think Unret and Dell hit it at the same time, giving it so much speed. And there is a kick off now over the drill support side. There is barely anyone to defend. Nice defense by settings. Will it be enough though? Ooh, LK boosting. No, nope. I think they got tracked as well, and that's going to be the goal for Team Bison. I'm pretty sure they tracked uh, the T60 way there from Drilla Support. That was a really, really risky move, and the ball went over the one guy. They actually didn't have anyone to back up. I think one of them should have backed up earlier, used the nitro or whatever, but it didn't happen. So we have one to one immediately. This is a super fast exchange. We already have a kickoff, and the ball is on the Team Bison side. Already, you can see here Philip trading shots. Necro still has all of them available, he doesn't want to use them just yet. He is that AMX, he doesn't want to spend his shots when he doesn't have to. Goes towards the center, but immediately nice defense from Unret and Dell, but that might be going in and it actually does! Never mind the nice defense, goes in between the two of them. It's raining goals here guys, like in two minutes we've seen already three in a previous entire game. For seven minutes we've seen one. Like these guys are playing for all or nothing now. Yeah, Philip, you can see they're trying to block Dell. Doesn't really 100% work out, the ball's kind of neutral in between the two, but goes on towards the side of Team Bison, so now they have to defend their corner. That's a very, very quick place there. Dell, you gotta run, gotta get back to the goal. You can see a little bit of panic there. Well, it was definitely a panicky moment because if someone didn't hit the ball off, it would end up in the right angle to be kicked in like previous times, like previous two times, actually. Now, again, we're back towards this corner play. Necro is now on a full reload, but so is Phillips. So it's just the T62A is trading with each other. Dell and Unred so far have the advantage, or they give momentum to the ball, trying to push it into corner. LK now backing up. They need to be careful dangerous. here. Dangerous. Very dangerous, and it's ooh, going towards the center, but it's a nice hit there from LK. He pushes it past all the way. Yeah, that was the thing we were talking about. When you are pitched down like that, if you have a good angle, you need to speed up the ball actually toward the other side because it makes it practically impossible for enemy team to hit and like score the correct angle to hit the goal. Ooh, but this is a dangerous attempt here from Team Drilla Support. Can they get on goal? No, just they the missed. ball goes past it. They ooh. missed. Coming back though, back in towards the corner. 3 minutes and 46 seconds, but this uh, round definitely so far heavily in favor of Drilla Support. Yeah, Drilla Support on the offensive here. I would say that both teams got a better read on each other at the moment, so they're kind of easier scoring the chances to, to play, but the dominance on the on the ball control is definitely on Drilla Support side. And Necro there still has to wait for his reload to come in. Finally, he gets those shots available. Philip has only one more, he uses ability. That's a nice high ball there, but this, this needs to be careful. It goes all the way into the court. You can see Necro now already starting to clip, using all of his shots to push it as far as he can. And now Team Bison switching over to the offense. They want to equalize this as quickly as they can, because time is not merciful. I think they know they can't, because uh, Necro had three shells left, which is impossible to deal with, like entire Philips clip plus two 62s, who already were on time back. They used the Nitro immediately. What's inter interesting about Nitro, actually, when you use it, you don't even have to turn your tank. You can drive backwards and it goes full speed also. You can see there how, you know, LK is not, uh, no, not LK, it's is actually not actually hitting the ball. He's more hitting behind it to give it momentum in the right direction of where he wants to go. It's actually have to be really good timing because you can easily, easily miss the ball trying to hit shots like that. You speaking from experience? Of course, man. <laughs> uh, now you can see Philip just about to come over reload. Necro only has one shot, so this should be a clear, at the very least, for Drilla Support. Get it on towards the side of Team Bison, as you can see there. The extra shots of the MX push it all the way into the opposite corner of the field. Pretty sure that if I play this match, the match would be over in 60 seconds. Because you're just that amazing and you'd score three goals? because I would probably receive three goals without even hitting the ball. I was trying to be nice, but you know, if you want to put it like that, sure. Philip Necro, now trading Necro, wants to push the ball forward. You can see, as soon as the ball gets anywhere near from that corner, Necro starts unloading, pushes the ball away, tries to give him momentum, tries to get it on the side of the support, because time is getting low here. Yeah, they have one minute and 45 seconds left, but, you know, so far they haven't gotten an attempt at goal in maybe three minutes, I'd say, if not more. Yeah, the, as we said, like it's a huge advantage when one team can decide here to play purely defensive. Like Drilla Support can do that and wait for a counter chance, counter attack option here. Team Bison has to do all the pressure, but it's really, really hard because the control of the ball is really superb. 
Yeah, and it's done by Jela support. And there yes. you go, they already bypassed two of the guys. Necro was actually forced to play a last ditch defender in their in their team. Multi six twins were not Oh, that's Epina. a big miss there! Oh that's a big miss. Speaking of which ball control, we kind of cast recursed them. Setnix missed the last big shot. Missed the big, and big that shot there. really costed them. That I don't think Bison's actually counted on this. No. Uh that was just a miss. He just completely missed the ball. It kept its momentum. There was nothing to do. If he hits the ball, stops its momentum, they're probably able to clear that. Let's see how it lasts 60 seconds go. Both teams will probably want to deal with this in this and not in an overtime. Overtime is a gamble because of the golden goal rule. Who first scores, scores he wins. Or if you keep the ball on enemy side for 100 seconds. But so far, Drilla support was usually better than that. Mojo, they're, the, they're the kings of scoring in the last second, who knows? Yeah, let's see, 33 seconds left. Yeah, dude, you can't count them out until like, it says that the game is over, pretty much. At the moment, Bisons are playing pure defense. You can say like, their positioning and the uh, shells they're trying to do, I don't think they're even trying to score, just to keep the ball away, so they can go in that overtime. They still have that one game that they're Ooh. leading already. Thankfully, Philip just about came off reload when it was most needed. He needs to start clearing the ball here. It doesn't look like they're going to have another attempt at goal. Philip now starting to clip out. Seven seconds. Philip needs to keep it away here. Five seconds is going towards center. Needs to be careful. But luckily enough, the ball has enough speed and momentum. Nobody from Team Bison able to redirect it. And it should be an overtime. Here we go, Mojo. The first overtime of the tournament. First overtime of the tournament. But for real this time. <laughs> yeah, this time it's an actual overtime. So guys, overtime lasts for four minutes. That's a maximum. Or until someone scores the first goal or until someone has a hundred seconds, you can see the timer, you can see the, the percentages on upper side. So far, both teams just neutralizing the ball in the center and that's a high ball for Drilla's support. <laughs> Unread with the clear at the very, very last second. That was a big clear. That was a big clear, man. And Drilla's support is actually leading by far because the ball is all the time in the Team Bison side. So if this counter reaches 100, they will automatically win. Goal or not goal. Yeah, they're now at 27 already. And it looks like they're just... A, right now, they're playing for control. They're, like, play, okay. they're just playing to keep the ball as much as they can there because they know sooner or later, like, Team Bison will be able to kick it off. And there, there goes go. Necro, though. There goes Necro. But it's still on there. Yeah, it's still on, on the side of Team Bison switches now. Towards Drilla support, Bison's picking up some points. They want to bully it into that corner, but now Drilla support really wants to get it back on towards that side of the field. It's about on the midline though, but yeah, Necro was not on reload. When Necro was still on reload, so it pushes it all the way back onto this the This is a side. double game, game down now, guys, because you have to be wary. Where is the ball to keep it off your side? Also, if you overexpose yourself, you actually can receive a goal. You can see now, kind of. Ooh, that's dangerous because it could be, be centered, but again, back and towards that corner, unread, trying to clear it. Necro is about to come off reload and he wants to start clearing it, but he misses the first one. Ooh, just about goes past the post. But keep in mind, 73 now for Drilla support. They only need to keep it on for more for 23 seconds and they will take the second, second round. Let us see how it goes. 83, 84, and they're still managing to divert it in the other corner. I would say there is no way out for Team Bisons from this. Unless but they score. Let's, unless they score in a couple of seconds. Yeah, yes. They need to score. You have four seconds to get it away from their side of the field. Necro now needs to clear it. Two seconds, one second, it's at 99. <laughs> they, need, they need to score right now. It's at 99. It's not just uh, over just yet, Mojo. It's uh, not over yet, guys, because it's 99, like uh, Team Bisons do need to keep their ball on the enemy side. I'm sorry you don't see the picture at the moment, but it's like still on. They need one second. Drill of supports need one second to score. Team Bisons, they need like yeah. 70. Team Bisons needs to score right now. There That's we what go. they need to do it. They Unbelievable. They did it. They actually scored. Oh, they scored. <laughs> oh no. They just didn't happen. They just didn't happen. No. That's a Oh man. That's a feels bad man moment. That's not I, cool. That's a feels bad man moment if I ever see one. That's, that's a, from zero to hero, man. That's a that's a Pepe please right there. One second. One I, I, well much I just wanna say I predicted it. You know, Team Dyson's has to score at this point and they did it. So it's, pff, sign me up, coach, I'm ready. That makes, so it zero. that makes it 2-0. That makes it 2-0 in favor of Team Bisons now, and that is a moral crusher. 2-0 for Team Bison, guys. They need only one to win the entire match. I mean, it's super close games, super close games. 
as close as it can possibly get, but if you judge by the score, not so much. Unbelievable. One second, Mojo. Actually, one second. Like if one guy hit the ball one more time, that would be it. And it would be 1-1 one, one into match, but like this. We are on a match point for Team Bisons, who are leading currently 2-0. Two, two, they need the only one last game to win. One last game, they're 2-0 up. It's how, uh, it's how and it goes, you know? And Gilles Support have to pull, as you said, a Belgium. They have to pull a Belgium indeed, you know. Uh, you got a thing that they're playing in Japan. Japan leaves all the openings, you know, it stops, you know, come, keeps attacking. It's really all Team Bisons has to do now, though. You know, they can play for overtimes, Mojo, if they want to. They can play defensive. But being 2-0 up, they could they actually They want to win, man, and they're going to probably try to play aggressive as they are. Because if you drop your play style, you usually lose. They should just keep it up. It works for them. Well, we'll see if it works in this round. You can see there. Actually, there's a different dynamic mode. Look at it. Yeah, we have two MXs yeah. here on drill support side. We didn't even notice it. The setup of players is the same, but they do have two MXs. We can see, we will see, are they actually controlling their better than, like, maybe the coffee guys? Yeah, well, they they played against it when where my whereas my coffee did it. They have they seem to have better ball and control. They definitely switched the ball much faster, but uh, let's see what can they actually do with it because that setup did look a lot of very defensive when you are facing uh, the enemy. Well, Mojo, it seems to be their uh, white rabbit pulled out of a hat. So let's see if they can make it work. They have a lot of shots available. Could be down to where's my coffee not having the right strat running behind this. Look at this, like uh, LK was actually waiting for a ball to set it up toward the goal and they had like, they have really easy way how to throw it to the enemy side, but the reloads are a problem as usual. Yeah, Philip still has one shot available, managed to neutralize it, he did use his ability, now in towards the corner and now Necro's on reload. Now is the one opportunity they'll have to actually use that reload and they're getting it towards the goal, they want to pick it up high now though, doesn't look like it's about to happen, unread. Controlling the ball very look well. Look at this mess. Look at the it goes in. That's Jola support picking up the first goal. It's actually working. I mean, that like was... this didn't look nice. It was not really cute to watch, but they bullied that ball in, man, by pure hitting, hitting it well. It's a way to score, right? You know, any goal, any goal counts, Mojo. Of course, but I, we didn't expect it. Oh, need to be careful here. You know, the initial phase is really. Uh, dangerous for these AMXs as they don't have the reloads. Yeah, they can off. only block the ball and uh, they have only one guy who can shoot against two guys from Team Bison's side. But again, the ball is again on Team Bison's side. Can they score the second one already? What? Yeah, it's 2-0. That's 2-0. Two, two minutes, two goals. Okay, this uh, Cinderella tactics actually works so far and they are back in a match, man. It's going to be hard to come back from this one, from the Team Bisons. Maybe the double AMX is the way to go. It kind of goes towards center goal, gets blocked oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay, this was dangerous nice. and close. Nice clear there from Technics. Now, both LK and Philip are off Vilos in their AMX. It's starting to clear that ball, starting to push it forward. So far, you know, where, well, where my, is my coffee? Couldn't do, they are able to do. They are by far doing it, man, and controlling the ball like this is not easy, not whatsoever. The ball is again on Team Bison's side. LK has the clip. I, as far as I noticed, most of the time both uh, LK and SVK reload in a different times. Yeah, they're never on reload at the same time so far. Um, or at least like... But they overlap a couple of shells. Yeah. So back and towards the corner now. Team Bison's 2-0 down. A 2-0 up in overall score though, but this round is not looking good for them. And that's a miss there from Dell as well. Necro's about to come up reload though. Philip still has three shots available. Tries to block the ball. Not happening. LK still has... They need to divert it. This is a super danger, but there is a great shot by Setnix. Like diverting the ball in the mid air. Yeah, that looked. That was going straight to the crossbar. Seriously, that was going straight in. SVK is now in the background. Like this, this, this setup is actually really mobile and it requires a lot of coordination because AMX has to exchange a place with one of the defenders and all the time rotate. You cannot have a strict function here. Like everyone has to play the role. Ooh, but it is working so far. They're 2 0 up. The ball's again in the corner of Team Bison. LK is on Rilado. Philip only has two shots. Well, make that one now. Necro. Uses his ability, gets two more. Now he's on a full reload. LK is off of reload though, so he's starting to push the ball forward. Necro with a nice body block there, slows down the ball. They really are trying to keep the ball away from the goal, man, but they're barely, barely, barely keeping it up. 
Well, you can see Philip there kind of getting dominated as you know both these 62As and Necro hit the ball, gives it a lot of speed and momentum. He can't stop it. It's now in their corner, but they're still 2-0 up, and they only need to hold this for three more minutes. They're gonna speed it up toward the other side now, definitely, and they're gonna try to push it there. I mean, the problem with this, uh, let's say, build or setup that Drilla Support has is if Setnix actually misses a ball in one moment, it's gonna be a score for Team Bison. So it's kind of a dancing on the edge kind of play. Mm -hmm. Dancing with Wolves, Mojo. Dancing with Wolves. Um, and so far they're doing very well. Now the question is, though, if they manage to win this round, do they run it again next round? I don't know, man. They definitely use it as a prize now, but we can see that Bison's actually managed to find a way how to stall them now and stop them and to play a longer game because there was no goal last uh, three minutes. But those f first two came like, like a storm, man. That's true. Uh, Drilla Support is very good at keeping the ball in the side of Team Bison. So even though they found a way to stall the goal attempts, they haven't really found a way to keep the ball off their side. Well, they were very good in last game also, but that one second was a second too much. Unbelievable what we saw there. Seconds always matter, Mojo. Good pass, Necro though. I think Del missed it as well. Nice body block there, however. Setnix is keeping his shells most of the time in these crucial moments, so he can maybe just divert the ball toward the goal. Like, all the play during these uh, edges is left to both of the Amexes. Mm -hmm. There's some nice body blocking going on though. Now if the ball crosses the pitch, there needs to be a goal rather quickly here for Team Bison for them to really have a chance in this one. 90 seconds left. I'm not going to say anything anymore because whatever I said happened co vice versa, like direct opposite every single time. So drill of support, 80 seconds left for them to win their first game in this final match. And uh, they have no chance for any backups because they have to win the everyone. And what's going to happen? Yep, yeah, there you go. Score by te Team Bison. Yeah, Last minute, man. Monjo, you know you jinx it by saying I'm not going to say anything because by not saying anything, you said just as much. You know how that works, right? Well, I need to say something because we are committed in match. But there is a kickoff and let's see the first minute here. It's the yeah. most dangerous one. Will they get another oh, no, goal? Big clap for you, man. Well, Mojo, well, if I've ever, what seen, a drinks, goal. If I've Five ever seen a drink, if I've ever seen a drink, Mojo, how could you? How could you do it to poor Drilla Support? They were doing so well until you said, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to just say if Drilla Support wins this entire match, like we're going to shave the duck. It, it doesn't work that way. You can't double drink something. That's impossible. <laughs> but I can't shave your beard. The double drinks does not work and you're not touching the beard. That is just, no, no. You don't have to touch it. I'll just take like a, yeah, a knife you, and cut it off. Yeah, you wish. It's big enough for that. Neither of those two is happening. Drill support now with 35 seconds left, trying to get it towards Team Bison's. They were 2-0 up. Is Team Bison's actually going to do the Belgium? Are they actually going to do it? Unbelievable. Here, like, they managed to score two goals within 10 seconds in one moment, so I'm not going to say anything anymore. <laughs> 20 seconds till the end. Yeah, much. what do you think of overtime? Whoa, that's it! Whoa, it goes off the post. Drill of support, hard, hard break right there. Goes off the post. That was their attempt to go out of overtime. They've lost the last overtime, Mojo. If I was them, I wouldn't be very happy having to play overtime again. Three seconds now, two seconds now. It does look like it's going to be an overtime. That's a high clear in towards the corner, and it is going to be an overtime. Overtime is, is super dangerous because we saw what can happen because two of their guys do not have the clip. If, if uh, Setnix doesn't hit the ball correctly, it's going to end up straight in a goal. And I remember clearly that someone before all of this told me it's impossible to score a goal straight from the match, from the middle. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Do you have any... Pr oh, there goes the ball straight through the middle. Is it going to go in? Team Bisons, can they get it? Philip with the block. Whew. Saves it. Saves it. Chizzy Buffon would be proud of that moment right there. Definitely, man. He just grasped it like a ninja. Almost like an Alio save, but that one was more effective. Yeah, but Alio was more luck than anything man, else. No. Anyways, and drill support in front of the goal? Nope. No, no, one, no, no, one, no one was positioned to shoot it under that angle, but still. The timer is very close for both sides, but the, si the ball is on a Team Bison side. As we said, it's a rule of a golden goal, who scores a goal in instant, or if the counter reaches 100. So 100 from the red side or from the blue side. You can see there, Philip still has four shots available. He wants to keep it on that side of the pitch over there. Sees it coming back, now pushes it forward again. He's on reload, but at that moment, LK is off of reload already. And they're keeping it very nicely in that corner. We've seen them do this before. They were very good at getting those seconds. They were very good at getting that possession. But it didn't really save them as Bison scored in the last second. 
49, 50 seconds, like this is a really, really close game. Setnix is really offensive toward the middle. I think he will have to charge toward the goal immediately, man, so he can actually save if there is some counter-attack. Yeah, but they managed to neutralize the speed of the ball. It was all neutral. Now goes back and towards the corner of Team Bison. LK had two shots. Philip now has all of them available. Team Bisons, they need to be careful, Mojo. 73, 74. 74, 75, but we've seen what they've done last time, so things can happen, miracles can happen. Necro is unloading his clip. He's forced to use everything he has. They need to throw this ball on the Drilla support side, and they're really, really trying to muscle in it. But look at the clip damage from the LK and SVK, man. They are keeping it there for sure. Well, Mojo, four seconds, three seconds now, two seconds. Drilla support, they are going to pick up their first round. It was almost hard break, but luckily enough, well, not lucky, they were able to control the ball very well in the corner of Team Bisons. Get that 100 seconds of possession. This time, no comeback at 99 seconds. That was one amazing game. One amazing game. Like, uh, currently, we have 2-1 to one for... Team Bisons, but this last one was like match of the equals. I would say every game so far was really, really close. Like I can't even believe how the last one ended. So we, we did had two overtimes yeah. so far. We did say that the um, uh, when we watched the replays, we did say that the initial play, like the very the kickoff, is the most dangerous part with the double AMX because they are almost defenseless. Yeah, Bison has a double T six two A who will hit the ball, and Jela only has that single T six two A. Yeah, it's really problematic for them because if the ball goes correct angle, if it jumps over one, one player, as example, they can only physically kick it out because it will end up in a goal before uh, 62 reloads the second time. I remember this one. That was a, that was a feels bad man moment right there. But I believe that Jola support motor, they got what it takes now, picking up that first round. Um, I would like to see them switch setups. Um, I think Bison I think this figured is, this it out. This was risky for a biscuit, and I don't think they should play it again. But let's see what do they say. Yeah, they're back to the standard regular. They got back the real point, the morality point, whatever you want. SVK back on his AMX. Setnicks and LK on 62s. Dell and Andret never changed their tanks. And Necro on AMX again, of course. So same old, same old. I can't wait for uh, Jola support to bust out the good old E100, you know? A surprise pick, the E100. But let's see now. It is 2-1 in favor of Team Bison. That's still on he match the point. He gave the kick off. The ball was hit by his guys in the same moment. Almost just stood where it was. And well, now it's on the side of Jola support. And from the goal, it's okay though. They managed to neutralize and get it back towards the corner. Initial ball control wrestled now by the side of Jola support. You can see when you watch the first player that the guys are signaling to each other. You can see they're measuring the reloads. When will MX have the reload? When are the 62 having the reloads? If they can't see, do they fire and things like that? He has 992 shots left. I think he'll be okay. He'll be okay with the amount of ammunition, but he needs to time when he does it. It's like my average random layout. 1,000 HD shells, Mojo. Ooh, that's a dangerous high ball, and that is Jela support. Getting that first goal, Mojo. That's a nice, nice touch there. Gets it up high, puts it in. In first 60 seconds, will they be able to pull it off? We certainly hope so. They seem more like a, they seem like a two-minute team, you know? The first two, three minutes, one or two goals, and then afterwards, they let Team Bison slowly but surely creep back in towards the match, not able to finish it. Dell trying to body block there. Almost like England, eh? Oh my, England. <laughs> Mate, England. You know, Drilla support will be England right now because they've been 1-0 up, so, you know, they, they would have to lose 2-1. Let's see, 100. And Necro trying to keep the ball off, but they're still pinned down on their side. Like, definitely Drill of Support manages to keep the ball more on the enemy's side, but Bison's managed Whoa, to... Oh, that's going to be a second goal! One. Yep, no saving against support? this! No saving against Mojo, this! What did I say about a two-minute team? There we go. Well, this is two, even, two even minutes? less than 90 two, seconds. Two minutes, two goals? We've seen this before. Let's see what happens now. Team Bison's, can they hold off? Like, this is going like an avalanche at the moment. Yeah, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're nervous. Maybe they're nervous because they're on that match point, you know? They're they are about to... They can they can feel that championship point, Mojo. They can feel it. It's so close, yet so far. But this is like a really big difference now how they're playing it because Real Support managed to come back from the dead. They keep their calm. They actually played super brave and they scored two goals in 90 seconds now, man. That's a statement. Yeah, Mojo, and now you start to wonder, you know, that overtime, you know, that one they lost, could have been all over at this point. Well, you know, if they score one more goal, that is. 
Again, this time though, Bison's getting into the corner. Philip has only two shots. They're starting to clear it. Nice clear. Goes over that way past that actually. And the defense not in position. This might be the third goal. Necro just about <laughs> touches it. Just about. That was the last millisecond save here, but still the ball is on their side and Drilla's support is keep, keeping the pressure on their side. Yeah, again, Drilla's support bullies Team Bisons into the corner. You know, it feels like they're just being hammered from everywhere and they don't know how to clear the ball because Drilla's support just seems to have the better setup. It seems like this far away setup is really working in their favor. As is I see dangerous that, now? As I say that, whoa, that was close, but just about goes next to the post. I think it was just a tad too fast, you know, so they could divert it properly. Mm. Now into the corner of Jola Sopordo. Starting to set up for the clear. Philip trying to use those shots, but it goes past him. Waits now for his teammates to set him up with the ball. Again, goes past him, goes high. Nice. LK there, ready and waiting to clear that shot. LK now is reloaded as well, so the other one can fire. So far, corner control. I think Jola's support is happy with the way the game's going right now. Yeah, they need to. All they need to do is buy time, and they will have an equal points. Uh, like uh, Team Bison's, they will be two-two in the total match scores. But uh, at the moment, we're still in the game. We've seen that these guys can score two goals in t ten seconds. We've seen it Team Bison's do that in the last game. So it's gonna be too early to say anything about it. Oh, that. really? You're going back to the? I can't say anything just yet. You know? Yeah. yeah. You have to go turtle there. Yeah, last time, last time you said this, they scored two. Ended goals. up really well, right? <laughs> last time you said this, they scored two goals in the next uh, two minutes. So, you know, Mojo, if uh, if you keep on on track record, we'll see Team Bison score very quickly. It's very big possibility because they did turn the momentum and they're keeping the ball on Drilla support side. So they are in aggression at the moment. Yeah, and Philip is still on reload. He is blocking the tank. Ah, he's blocking the ball with his tank. He's now off of reload as well. So now. When they start clearing, he'll be able to clip on the ball as well. But that's a high ball. It's a very dangerous one. Goes back and towards the corner, though. So far, Jola Support doing a very good job at coordinating their fire, clearing the ball. And ooh, that's a hit there. That was a miss there. LK hit on the back of the tank, and that's Team Bison scoring the first goal, Mojo. Speaking of it. Yeah, yeah, I did say it. And uh, Mojo, a, a very important thing there LK hit his ally. And that's why the ball didn't get stopped. And we have another kickoff now, coming into the last minutes of this game. I think they'll manage to pull it off over their side, but he stopped. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Uh, Dell's uh, taking a look at it from the scenic side, Wajo. Up is down, you know what I mean? He's back up on his feet, though. Now, Team Bison's there, only one goal away from Trilla's support. Mojo, you know, you need to stop cursing this team. It's, you know, it's, it's a really just not nice. It's not a nice thing to do. It's uh, very, very mean of you. Uh, they're trying their very best, and you just keep drinking them. Well, it's almost like you don't want EU to win. For everyone who played this mode, you can see... Uh, I've seen a lot of guys making major mistakes, like chasing the ball all the time and trying to play it like you play a normal football. I mean, I know this is a football mode within tanks, but it's more like a gun ball. You actually have to shoot it to go. That's because I'm like 25% dog. I see a ball, I just chase it, you know what I mean? Yeah, you and many other guys, man. Yeah. And then they leave the goal empty and there is no, not enough defense. And without good defense, you have no offense. It is because I'm a, everybody's a striker, Mojo. Everybody's yeah, a everybody striker, striker, you know? striker, yeah. Everybody deep down inside thinks they're the striker. Nobody wants to be the defender. Although defense is... Goes, this is again a good chance here for, for a drill of support, but there was no reload on their side, there was no connections that can actually go to the Team Bison side, so the ball is told on the other side. 70 seconds. Is it enough for them to sc score the third and final goal, or Team Bison can actually come back and go in overtime? Yeah, it will be interesting to see if Team Drilla Support can actually claim that 2-2 two -two scoreline, get our decisive game. They have one minute, Team Bison, to score a goal here, take the championship, or, well, championship, take the overtime to begin with, and then maybe, maybe get the championship, but Jola support very good at keeping it in the corner, puts it back in towards the corner of Team Bison. They have 44 seconds now to get it back on towards the side of Jola support and score a goal. This is kind of uh, stalling now by Jola support. I don't think they care about scoring anymore because like they have 30 seconds until they win it, while Team Bisons have to pretty much save everything they have for that one final push to make it to the overtime. Doesn't look like it's about to happen. Necro will have one more reload in his AMX. Here he goes. Philip already blocking him off. 18 seconds, 17 seconds. Drilla support. Can they do it? Can they do the dream, Mojo? Can they even keep the ground? ball on the enemy side? Ooh, there we go. Nine they seconds can. now. Need to be careful. It's not over just yet until 
the clock says zero, 00 and even then you need to be kind of careful with that as we've seen before but 2 1 and it does look like Driller support from Europe is able to equalize it all and now you start thinking back much of that overtime they lost with one second left to spare unbelievable unbelievable like if they actually lose the finals that will be the biggest twist we've seen in this uh, championship match but Two to two, two very equal teams. Team Bison starting in an early league, opening with two games, with two zero, but drill support by simply not giving up. Doing surprise tactics in a third game of the match with two MXs and now playing their standard, but still overwhelming them with two goals in the first two minutes. Yeah, again, that early pressure seems to be really working out for drill support. You know, they, they seem to be good at getting those early goals, Majo. Most of and the time. And then you Most say the something like... Just controlling the ball on their side, man. And then you have this sentence, like, I can't say anything, and then Bison starts scoring goals. Because my crystal ball warns me there's something's going to happen um, soon, man. I don't know, man. I, I think it's some of that voodoo magic. Voodoo man. <laughs> it's a <laughs> mojo man. <laughs> some of that voodoo magic, Mojo is uh, speaking over the teams. Um, but, yeah, it's 2-2 now. So that means that we have our decisive game. And no matter what, we'll have a champion here. Is it going to be in regular time or in overtime? Let's find out by looking at the setups to begin with. And it does look like double T60 and AMX. No, no risky plays here. Whatever happens here, guys, definitely we have the two best from the both regions. They deserve to be here. They're on equal footing. And whoever wins by far will deserve it. Of course, we are rooting for the Europe and there can be only one. I don't one. know about that with you rooting for hey, Europe. Hey, man. We How just about... want a good match, but Europe must prevail. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just loyal to my region. It is that? But let's see. We're immediate kickoff here. Philip trying to block Dell. Whoa, all those it. connections, man! Uh, the ball gets neutralized immediately, though. Do you want to support? Let's see if they're as good at putting the ball in towards uh, Bison's corner in the beginning. It looks like uh, Team Bison's are kind of clicking the mouse millisecond faster than Drilla's support, so they're managing to pull the ball on that way. I mean, those connections were right on point in the same moment. But Drilla's support immediately kicks it off on our enemy side. Immediately into the corner there for Team Bison. Dell there on the booster. You know, the quickest reversing tank I've ever seen in my life. Dude, like if you could do this in random with any tank, like I would buy that booster every game. You would probably flip over within about three seconds. Maybe, but you know how this works. You flip up, flip up back to your tracks immediately. Ooh, that's a clear ball and towards the center gets cleared though by Team Bison's drill support with the first chance of the match there, but gets back put in towards that corner over there. Mojo, I don't know, let's see. I think whoever scores the first goal here wins. It could be like that, but we've seen a lot of twists in this kind of uh, game here. There is a really serious plot development. So at the moment, as usual, the ball is on Team Bison side, like uh, Drill Support manages to keep it there for the most of the game. If they manage actually to keep that pattern, they will probably win. You know, both teams now so far trading corners for corner. We can see Jola support. Philip just just came off reload. He puts the ball straight back in towards that corner. He's like, no, you're not getting out of this corner. Back on towards the defense, Team Bison. Back to the roots. Yeah, they're being put on defense. The Necro is spending time. a lot, a big part of this game in this corner, man. Yeah. It can be called Necro's corner. Mm, that sounds kind of bad. Yeah. Maybe maybe not Necro's corner, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Huh? It's almost like a Mary's point, man. He was yeah, like, I don't know. That's a yeah, high ball, though. Goes huge, past huge right? chance. Oh, there's nobody to hit it, though. Nobody actually managed to divert it on towards the goal. It went straight past Del, though. There we go. Like, drill support still. Even if they miss a chance, they keep the ball on the enemy side. Like, I mean, you don't have to be a genius to know that that's corner store or have every good tactics, but you really need to connect the shots. Those long range, sni range sniper shots yeah, or something like that. These high balls, they're my favorites because they're really dangerous all the time. It's very hard to block them off as well. You miss the ball once. We saw LK, you know, hit the back of his uh, ally and that was it. The high ball just goes in. So one, 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 one miss from those things. Because one, one, shot. one shot can really cost you. One shot. Just one shot. Well, so far they're trading. It's a bit corners. dangerous now because they're not in good position. Setnik's okay, he manages to kick it off. If he missed this, I don't think anyone would be in position to help, actually. And now they're both back in towards the goal, though, back on towards defense. Four minutes, so we've already had about three minutes of regular play time. Uh, a little bit more than half remaining. Back control of support. They go, they go back in towards the corner. They bully Bison's back in towards their corner of the map. And Bison's now back on the defensive. Stronger nerves will decide this by far. Definitely, like whoever keeps the calm and manages to keep the control of the game and just play for it, they will prevail. 
at the moment you just need to think about the current status of the game. But the problem is for Team Bisons again, the ball is going toward their field. Ooh, and there's a deviation there from Jola support, but not enough to actually point it towards the goal. Luckily for Team Bisons, 3 minutes 30 seconds now, that means we are on the half time marker. We have half the regular time remaining, but so far it's Jola support goes towards the goal, Anuedo in position to block it off. It was a really good body block because he was he didn't have a reload and I don't think even uh, Del had any possibility to divert it himself. So there is a lot of mini micro situations here that don't look so serious when you watch them, but they're actually the ones that end up uh, disastrous, usually, if you don't manage to do the right thing. That's a high ball coming out of defense, gets centered again by Drilla support. There is Del and Unred. Unred hits his first Del. Clears it, but now Jola support still is keeping dominance over Team Bisons. They're really crushing them down and towards their corner. They're permanently stuck on the defense. They have no, I think in the last two, three minutes, they haven't had a single corner of their own. I wonder what is the difference. Like, is it uh, the Amix players one on one if you look them, like the better control of the ball by them, or is this like the positioning of the 62s? I feel like it's the positioning of the T62s really changing the game, and Necro is not able to do much and as he AMX most of the time either. And every time he is, Philip was usually already off of reload as well. This time not though, which results into Team Bison pushing the ball towards Jola Support's corner. Uh, but usually Philip is already reloaded. Elkin and Setnik's positioned one after another to defend the goal. Philip coming in and I think they will be able already, they have the reloads, to kick the ball back to Team Bison. This can actually be even dangerous because they can bounce it off the wall and maybe get to the middle. Yeah, you can see Team Bison scrambling to get back into defensive position. Necro back in his corner, uh, defending there. But well, that's a nice clear from Bison. Philip is using his ability, because you can see he had two extra shots there. Uh, they push it back in towards the corner. Necro is in reload. So far, just superior control over the map from Drilla, but not really any danger developing from this. Unbelievable. Like Bison can barely even kick off the ball on the enemy side the entire match. You can see there, Philip is now trading with Necro, and so far the trade is just won by Drilla Support. Like the amounts of connections when the ball starts going toward the Drilla Support side, you can see like all three guys, like they're just hitting it back, like by brute force if needed. Necro is now free, let's so it's Philip, so we're gonna trade another game here between the AMXs of Clips. You can see Necro and Philip just spamming shots on towards the ball. And that's, ooh, that was dangerous there for a second, because that went straight to goal. That's how actually they received one goal, because when you actually manage to pull a higher ball there and skip one guy, there is only one guy on a goal. If he misses, that's it. Well, 50 seconds now between both these teams. It's still 0-0 zero, zero match point. Might just be an overtime to decide the victor. We'll find it out. 45 seconds left. Ooh, that was, again, dangerous as well, but gets put in towards the corner. It doesn't look like either of these teams really deserves to score so far. It would be the most fair, I would say, to end this match in overtime. But if that happens, you know who had a better ball, ball position through the entire match yeah. so far. I'm putting my money on uh, Team Bisons if we go into overtime. <laughs> just because you said that. <laughs> just because you said that. I am not, like, you know, just because you said that, I'm with Team Bisons, Mojo. Oh, you're forbidden to bet, man, but you I will take you on. You jinxed it, like literally right now jinxed it. 12 seconds, let's see, Drilla support. This is your moment to get out of that voodoo magic that Mojo put all over you. It doesn't look like it's about to happen. No, six, five, it's gonna be an overtime to decide our tank football champion as the time runs out and that is it, that's overtime. Let's That'd see now. Third overtime by these teams. In a row. It's not in a row, last was Ah, I know, one. yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm a Team Bison's Mojo, because you said that Drilla Support wins these. I'm definitely thinking Drilla Support yeah. will control this. Yeah, you, you, you say that. Let's see the kickoff here. Both the T62 A's from both teams. You see Philip going in to try and block a shot. Doesn't get it, goes kind of the worst of goal, but will end up in the corner. Initial ball control for Drilla Support. What a surprise. Drilla Support. I, I mean, they will be their control, ball control. They don't even have to play for the golden goal rule. And Team Bisons really have to think hard how to get out of this because most of the games they actually didn't manage through. The only one they won in this kind of overtime is when, in, when it was 99 possession, they actually managed to trick them and score the goal. But can they do it again? We are already at 30 seconds, guys, and counting. 
I think, I think Necro got quite bored of it as well. He starts to clear the ball, but that's a nice long range hit there. Again, a nice long range hit. Another one, more long range hits coming in. Jonas support very good at keeping the ball over there. Unbelievable how they're connecting. Ooh, how they're passed, so Unred. They're passed, Del. This might be it. Ooh, Oof. just Oof. Well swings past goal. Ow. Oh. Like that might have ended, but it's not over. They still have almost 60 seconds of possession. But Team Bison finally managed to pull it through on the other side. But never mind, not for long. Ooh, it goes past Dell, it goes past Necro. Ooh, it goes just about next to the post. It's centered again, though. Can they hit it? No, that's a miss right there. Can they push the pass? No, and it goes in. And it is going to be Drilla support to claim it in the end. That is going to be Drilla support winning in overtime and going back to back football champions. Wow. Drilla support, winning by the golden goal rule, which is the best possible solution here. They did pull a Belgian here because they, they, did pull they a Belgian. were losing 2-0. Two to zero. They came from 0 to hero, completely victorious, guys. It's, 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 it's an exactly Belgium. You know, you score, you take two rounds and then you win in overtime. And I didn't over jinx them. Uh, lucky, lucky. Let's keep it at that. Lucky, Mojo. So, guys, in this kind of engagement, Europe prevails. Replays from the whole match on the screen here. It was an intense one. Both these teams managing to take it to a decisive game and then an overtime as well in that decisive round, which went in favor of Jola support. They had better ball control though throughout yes, this match. Brilliant play by and they lost teams. an overtime in, in one second. Yeah, that was pure unlucky, I would say. Yeah. But still, it doesn't deduct anything from Team Bison. They played great, but you can see the merciless ball control for the guys from Europe, like they are just another level, man. Not the first time that Europe manages to beat uh, Russia, you know? I was wondering when will you mention that. I did, like you knew it was coming at one point, right? Like You're hoping for that again? I mean, for, even if they win, it's 2-2, two -two, so who cares? Well, Daki, the lovely, is keeping the chance to come in the next tournament so he can play it. So we might actually see that happen. We will see. But still keeping an, our eyes on football here, guys. Football in tanks. The winning champion, the reigning champion from the 2016 drill support. Yeah, um, it takes something though to recover from a 2-0 deficit to come back, especially the way they lost that second game, you know, with being the overtime being on 99 possession and then taking and a then goal. And then taking a risky leap of fate and playing with two MXs. Yeah. They scoring those two insane goals in the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then almost losing it as well, going to yeah, close. another overtime. Risky stuff, risky stuff, but it, it worked out in the end for them. Um, nothing than congratulations, you know, they are back-to-back -back champions. It's, it's impressive to win in 2016 and 2018, because obviously the mode changed a little bit between those two formats. Motivation they found, like amount of uh, time invested definitely paid off. We already said what will the, be the prizes for them. Gigi Buffon signed t-shirt, the balls, then the gold in the game, then the in-game tanks. Mm, it's a Pajero. premium. And we have the stats here from the whole match. Um, as you can see, there was one own goal only in the whole game. Yeah, but those are tricky to to yeah to actually like see if when, it was when they yeah. fire when they fire at the at the ball and you just try to block it with your body and you, it goes over you, it, it counts as out to go. Yeah, it does. Um, so good stuff there from uh, Jola support. Really, and really, look at this, like amount of shot, like it's almost the same. Yeah, well, I mean... Close it, to 1,500, both teams. I guess because both teams are firing that often, Mojo. Yeah, but that's, that means they're actually connecting. Yeah, yeah. Um, both teams, they have really good connections, mm -hmm. but even playing with the same setup, same setup back to back, much more better co ball control. I mean, it was a risky play there, picking a double AMX. I'll remember that the most, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely something that we can uh, remember, say, with some of the goals that were defended by some of those guys. Well, here, Mojo, tournament bracket. Take us through it. How did our day go? Team Bison's opening the day with win 3-1 to one against Papa is not online. The best thing I've seen is that match when Alio jumped, <laughs> got the ball and defended it. It didn't help them much though in that kind of match, so the skill definitely pre-weighed. And then we saw a match between Where Is My Coffee and Drilla Support, that was just one-way train. Yeah, that was, uh, that was complete dominance, really, from Drilla Support, showing some great signs of greatness already in that match. 
Um, that was not pretty to watch, really. Um, team Jolla support throughout this tournament, pretty good. Um, they also dominated from, like I told you, in the regional finals, they dominated Team Papa as on the line as well with these long range shots and such. Yeah, this was pretty much the best team we've seen by far. And I think it's close time to end the stream. Yeah, Mojo, um, I want to thank everybody at home, obviously, for, for watching, participating with us, participating in the giveaways as well. If you were a lucky winner, congratulations. I hope you had as much fun as we did playing, well, watching this uh, Tank football tournament. It was a great blast. Europe prevails. Uh, and maybe we'll see each other in the future. Who knows? Tank football might be back around the corner. But that's going to be it for me and Mojo. Any final words? I uh, just thank you all for watching and farewell, guys. I will take it on that. And that is a good evening for me. Enjoy the rest of your evening.